Should be live. Should be live. I should be live. Oh. Yep. Let's go. What is up, everyone? What is going on, everybody? What's up, everyone? What's up? What's up? What's up? We got more eggs. A lot more eggs. Also, uh, I had to put Quaxly in Pokemon Home because I ran out of space. So uh, I kept these four just because, like, they were already in a PC box full of eggs. So I'm like, I'm not going to release just four, then reorganize the entire boxes just because of four eggs. <laughs> so, yeah. What's up, Nightmare? What's going on, man? Update to, to people wondering. Uh, this is my fourth stream hunting Quaxley. And I did not realize up until now that uh, so far I've hatched 244 Quaxley. <laughs> and I have 150 eggs exactly unhatched. So once we get through all the eggs we have, we'll be at 390 eggs hatched. So. Unless I get really unlucky. I should get the shiny today. <laughs> should get shiny Quaxley today unless I get really unlucky. So yeah. Unless I get really unlucky, man. I really hope I, I don't get unlucky, obviously. <laughs> but yeah. Let's uh let's get these eggs going. Let's let's start hatching first egg of the day. Nightmare said nothing. Wow. Yeah, I know. A lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. What happened? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, that was weird. This game has so much glitches, man. <laughs> But yeah, 144 eggs hatched. A lot of damn eggs. It's a lot of eggs, man. But I believe that we're getting shiny Quaxi today. I know I say that every stream. <laughs> but this one, man, come on. If I don't get shiny Quaxi today, then I have to be really unlucky. Like... With with all the Quaxley that I've hatched that are in Pokemon Home and all of the unhatched eggs from today that still have to be hatched. Once I hatch every egg that I have in my in my uh boxes right now, I'll be at a total of 394 Quaxley egg hatches. <laughs> Unless I get really unlucky, like I did Fue Coco, I should get Quaxley today. I should get him today. And it, and today I want to make it a long stream, so even af after all these eggs, if I somehow don't get the Quaxley, I I'm going to keep going. I'm not ending stream early today, like I did yesterday and the day before. I'm not doing that, so... <laughs> um gonna be a long stream today hopefully we get the shiny in return so yeah I, i'm just I, i'm dying to start playing a different game <laughs> 
I can't lie, I've been hunting Dynamax Adventures for way too long. Not Dynamax Adventures. I've been hunting uh, Egg Hatches and Scarlet Violet for way too long. I want to move on to something else, man. The reason why I said Dynamax Adventures is because I, I have... I thought of a new video idea like a couple minutes ago. And I wrote it on my whiteboard and I had it stuck in my head. <laughs> but yeah. I, I'm I'm super excited to play a game other than Scarlet Violet. <laughs> the next stream series, hoping that I get Quaxi today. If I get Quaxi today, then we can start tomorrow. We can start doing the Legends Arceus 24 hour shiny hunt. That that's that's what I want to do next is the Legends Arceus 24 hour hunt. And I can't do it unless I get this Quaxley, so hopefully today's that day. What? I'm not giving you Mewtwo. <laughs> That's my brother, in case you're wondering, asking for Mewtwo. <laughs> I don't want Quaxly that badly. I'm not giving you a shiny mute <laughs> for a regular Quaxly. <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully I could get this thing today though. But you love Quaxly. Quaxly's my least favorite starter Pokemon ever. Out of all the 27 starter Pokemon, Quaxly is my least favorite one out of all of them. I do not love Quaxly. <laughs> Are you doing Masuda method? Yes. Someone in my chat, his name is Alex1, shout out to you. He traded me a Japanese shiny ditto for me to use against, uh, against, to use for Masuda method. So yeah. <laughs> I'm replaying Gen 6 at this point. I love Gen 6 and I'm so happy that we're getting, uh, Legend Z. I'm so happy about that. Is that a Sylveon? That I swear I just saw a Sylveon. A wild Sylveon. Oh my god. I've been running around this area in circles for the last month and I've never seen a Sylveon spawn here before. <laughs> Testing chat. <laughs> okay, I got banned from... Commenting lol good luck, huh? How did you get banned from that? You just missed out on the trade deal of the country the quaxly I was gonna send you was the greatest quaxly in the world. You've made a grave mistake. Good day, sir <laughs> Oh my god, man to those of you wondering that's my brother <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, you're not banned from uh, chat. You're, I, we see your messages. No shiny so far. Let me know uh, your guys' thoughts on uh, on Pokemon ZA, Legend ZA. 
I want to know your guys' thoughts. I released a video about it today. It came out like an hour ago. What? <laughs> oh my god, man. Well, you're here you're not you're not banned from typing in here, but yeah. <laughs> YouTube Shorts is a wild place. Twitch is even wilder. <laughs> You want wild streams go to Twitch. <laughs> Me too shorts still pretty wild too. Again, not as wild as Twitch, but it's still pretty wild. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for subbing, by the way. I just noticed my counter went up two times. Uh, <laughs> I just realized it now. So whoever subbed, thank you. I I'm trying to work on um, uh, getting those like pop-ups when people sub. Uh, but yeah, I need to like program it and stuff like that. I'm probably going to do that later tonight. When I'm off stream. I used to have that. Because I used to stream on Streamlabs. Now I stream on OBS. Because of the YouTube shorts form. So I stream on OBS. But yeah. I need to figure out how to do it on OBS. I only know how to do it on Streamlabs. But once I figure it out. Whoever subs gets shout outs on screen. But. Right now they don't, because again, I, I don't know how to set that feature up, but yeah. Hey, Nightmare, you sub. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Next egg. I promise uh, soon we'll be done uh, egg hatches. I promise. <laughs> I, I know Masuda method is, is boring, like really boring. I know, trust me. So soon you guys, once I get this Quaxley, you guys will get like better streams. <laughs> Trust me. After getting shiny Quaxley, once I start doing Legends Arceus shiny hunts, I'm doing a 24 hour shiny hunt. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. A lot more fun than this. <laughs> Bouncy people, I'll throw you a sub right now. Thank you, man. <laughs> well, our goal is 13k. Obviously, where you guys see the sub counts at the bottom. I just added that in my stream today, too. So, yeah, it's pretty sick. We're elevating the streams. Hope this helps. Thank you for subbing, man. <laughs> thank you a lot, man. Thank you so much. I don't know why I said thank you a lot. 
prop me me i speak proper grammar <laughs> but yeah thanks man <laughs> oh my god Hopefully we get Quaxi today. Hey, the longest comment. What's up, man? How have you been? <laughs> we should start <laughs> rumbling on. The stream to get this man a million subs <laughs> that would be great <laughs> oh my god nightmare said balls nice man <laughs> good how about you i've been doing pretty good longest comments i'm still uh still hunting quaxley sadly but uh yeah <laughs> Other than the fact that I'm still doing egg hatches non-stop, I've been- I've been good. <laughs> I hate egg hatching so much, man. It's so boring. It's so boring. <laughs> but yeah. Can't stay long today, though. Sorry. It's all good, man. Do- do whatever you gotta do. I'm not, uh, holding you hostage. this good in yesterday's stream within the first 30 minutes of being live i found two full odds shiny drift loom random encounter so hopefully we get that same sort of luck today you know that would be amazing Look how much eggs I have to go through. And if I don't get shiny Quaxi within this amount, I'm continuing. I'm making it a really long stream today. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. Um, my luck goes to wild spawns instead of egg hatches. And I need it for egg hatches. But yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we get the shiny today. This is more of a relaxing stream. I'm hatching eggs at the same time. Trying to get my Bisharp. That's a really cool shiny. And thank you for the compliment on my streams. Th that's kind of what I tried doing, you know. I'm not really like someone like tyson nats for example where they get really really like jumpy and excited and they're just really loud and stuff like i'm more of a calmer person so i like playing the lo-fi music in the back and all that but yeah <laughs> i've been uh shiny hunting quaxley now for four live streams it's my fourth one um before starting today's stream, I had 244 eggs hatched. I obviously hatched eggs on stream right now today. So that number's higher. I don't know what I'm at exactly now, but once um these eggs are finished, I will let you know how much eggs we're at. I hope you get that shiny bishop soon because I know um, egg hatches sometimes can be really really long opinion on Pokemon ZA bro Pokemon Legend ZA I'm so excited for it I, I don't know if you saw my uh, my video that I uploaded today of uh, talking about everything that happened during Pokemon day I'll do a recap now uh, in case you guys missed my stream yesterday, because I talked about it as well over there. 
Uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. Longest comments said same. Even me. My thoughts on Pokemon Day on Pokemon Presents yesterday. I think that Pokemon Legends ZA is, in my opinion, a better thing to announce than a Let's Go Johto or a Black White remake. Because, let's be real, Black White, if you really want to go play that, just play Black White. <laughs> Same thing with, with the Let's Go games. Uh, I mean, uh, the Johto games. If you really want to play a Gen 2 game, play Heart Gold Soul Silver. <laughs> like we've never gotten a pokemon z before a and pokemon z has been something that's been in the talks for years it was supposed to come out way back when the pokemon xyz anime released pokemon z was supposed to come out instead of sun and moon it was supposed to be that but uh Instead, they scrapped it for some reason. So now we're getting Legends ZA, which is not going to be... Obviously, Legends ZA is, is not going to be anything close to what we could have gotten for Pokemon Z. Pokemon Z would have been the same thing as X and Y, just with an altered storyline. Kind of like what Pokemon Emerald is for Ruby Sapphire. So, uh... Now we're getting Legends ZA, which is going to be, be in the past when Lumio City's under construction and all that type of stuff. We're probably going to see the war of 3000 years ago. We're going to see um, AZ and his Floetta. Hopefully. <laughs> Obviously, we got no gameplay, so this is all just me speculating and predictions and rumors and stuff like that. But I really hope we, we get to see... Uh, the war we might not play in the war the game might take place in the aftermath of the war or before the war takes place again we don't know all we know about the game is that it takes place in lumio city it's all we know and mega evolution is back if i'm being honest I think Pokemon Legends ZA is a better release than a Black White remake or a Gen 2 remake. <laughs> Thanks bro, hope you get this annoying duck soon. I really hope so. I hope I get shiny Donald Duck pretty soon. <laughs> mm -mm, for real, more originals. Uh, I'm back. What's up, Gavin? How you been doing, man? It kind of looks like Pokemon GTA. <laughs> That's a cool thought to have. I didn't really see that, but. <laughs> oh my God. It really has so much potential. I know. Plus two, I've been saying, I don't want to get my hopes up with this game, but I can't lie. My hopes are, are very, very, very high. I have very high hopes for this game. I don't want to overhype it for myself, but I kind of am because Kalos is my favorite region. Gen 6 is my favorite generation. Uh, Mega Evolution is my favorite gimmick form. Pokemon Legends Arceus was my favorite Pokemon game on Switch. This game, Pokemon Legends ZA, literally has all of my favorite stuff mashed into one. Plus, I've been saying for so long that Zygarde had so much wasted potential and wasted lore, and they're finally going to put it to use. In Pokemon Legends EA, so I, I cannot wait for this game. And it will be two years till Pokemon ZA. It comes out next year, it comes out 2025. So uh my prediction, uh Legends Arceus came out January 2025. I think ZA is also gonna come out January. I mean uh, Legends Arceus came out January 2022, not five. Five is gonna be ZA, but yeah. Yeah, one year. Okay. That's what I love about Pokemon. Fans get opportunities to play to play out different parts of the story in separate games. I have high expectations for this game. Mega Evolution is going to be crazy. I know. I really, really hope they add some new Mega Forms too. And I think they will because if you've watched um, the Pokemon XY anime... They say in the anime that every single Pokemon in existence can Mega Evolve. 
That that's what they say in the anime. That's the the lore and the backstory of Mega Evolution. Every single Pokemon in existence can Mega Evolve. You just need a Keystone and the Mega Stone. That's what you need. So maybe in Pokemon Legends ZA, there'll be some new Mega Evolutions that we've never seen before. I think that would be really cool. For example, uh, I think we might get some new starter Megas. Can't lie. Uh, obviously, it's a Kalos game, but the starters are not going to be Chespin, Froakie, and Fennekin. Those are not going to be the starters. If you look at Pokemon Legends Arceus, the starters were not Turtwig, Piplup, and Chimchar. They were not the Gen 4 starters. It was Oshawott, Rallet, and Cyndaquil. So we're probably going to get... And we got Hisuian forms for each of those Pokemon's final evolutions. So what I'm predicting is obviously we're going to get... We're not going to get new starters and we're not going to get Gen 6 starters. We're going to get one uh, grass starter Pokemon from one generation. One fire starter Pokemon from another generation. One water starter Pokemon from a different generation. It's going to be like Legends Arceus where we're going to get three different generations of starters one from each different generation it's gonna be it's gonna be like legends Arceus, and i'm assuming that each starter is gonna get their own brand new mega evolution that that's what i'm hoping for i think that'll be really cool same what's your favorite callow starter when i was a kid i picked fennekin but nowadays my favorite is froki and that's because of greninja We are definitely getting new forms, but what pokes what pokes will be on the table? Ooh, that's an interesting discussion. Maybe we could see like I would love to get something like a Dragonite Mega stuff like that. It would be cool to see a Mega Raichu. That would be cool. See a Mega Raichu. <laughs> that would be really, really cool. Like, obviously, we're going to get new ones. We don't know what Pokemon are in the game yet. So, well, the only Pokemon we know that are in the game are Pokemon that we saw in the teaser. The teaser trailer. So, yeah. Have to go now. Sorry. And many luck for Quaxly. Thanks the longest comment. Go do what you have to do, man. It's all good if you gotta leave. But, uh, yeah. Another thing on Pokemon Day that got announced that, uh, a lot of people don't really, like... Like, there's not really a lot of hype around it, because obviously the main focus was ZA. But I really liked Pokemon TCG Pocket. I kind of really liked that concept. Obviously, I'd rather have a physical card in my hand. I'd rather have a physical Pokemon card in my hand. Yes, oh, a thousand percent. <laughs> but uh, I like the, the idea of being able to open up packs on your phone, battling with people in quick play and being able to trade through your phone. I like that idea. Plus, you can go inside of the artwork of the cards and look around the actual scenery i think that it's it's really cool i really like the way they they obviously it's not out yet but just seeing the trailer for it i really like the way it's made i like the way the cards look a lot they're kind of like 3d i i really really like it i really like it i i think Pokemon TCG Pocket is something that I'll genuinely play a lot. It's something that I'll play a lot. My main concern with TCG Pocket is whenever Game Freak makes a mobile game, it usually gets discontinued after like two, three years of it being a thing. Obviously, Pokemon Go is different. Pokemon Go is, is a massive, massive success. So that will never get discontinued. <laughs> but something like TCG Pocket, if not many people play it, because what they said was you get two free packs per day. 
which means every other pack you get is most likely going to be a microtransaction you're going to have to pay. If not everyone pays for them, it doesn't look like it'll perform well. If two free packs a day is not much, you're probably going to get one pack every 12 hours. I say they should do three, four free packs a day, or at least make a system where you could like watch an ad or something to get a free pack or like make challenges, whatever, where you get free packs or like winning quick play gives you free packs. They have to do stuff like that. They have to do stuff that gives you free packs in that game. They can't just make it all pay to win, but two of them are free per day. That's where it'll flop and get discontinued. <laughs> And it'll help out more to learn how to play TCG. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea how to play TCG. <laughs> I have no idea how to play it. I've been collecting Pokemon cards for the last 10 years. <laughs> and, and I have absolutely no idea how to play the game. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> it will be a good way to finally learn how to play. I tried playing Pokemon TCG, like the online Pokemon TCG, the one that already exists. It there's it, it, that game is meant the online one is meant for people who already know how to play the game strategically. So hopefully Pocket will teach you how to play. And obviously it's quick play too. It's not going to be like a full game. I don't think it's going to be a full game where you have like six Pokemon with you and all that. I think it's going to be 1v1. You have one Pokemon each or maybe 3v3. It's called Quick Play. So it's not a full game of TCGs. Again, I don't know how to play TCG, so I don't know how it's going to work. But I know it's not a full game. So who, uh, who knows what it's going to be. Either way, I'm very excited for it. I'm really, really excited for it. Obviously, I'm more excited for AZ, but yeah. <laughs> There's the A, not AZ. But uh, yeah. Let me know uh, your guys' thoughts on uh, Pokemon TCG Pockets. I want to know how you guys feel about TCG Pocket. I think it's a cool concept. Again, I, I don't think TCG Pocket is something that'll do like insanely massive numbers. I think it'll be successful. But how I see TCG Pocket working is I think it's going to be one of those mobile games where everyone's gonna talk about it for the first like month that it comes out and then um then it's it's not gonna perform well after that and then after a couple years they're gonna end up discontinuing it's like every other mobile game they've ever had <laughs> but yeah uh love the idea and the artwork is insane yeah i really really like the artwork of it and i really like that you could actually go into the card you could go into the card and look at the scenery and all that it's gonna be really really cool but again like i said earlier for them to to make it a super success they can't make it all pay to win and then just two packs a day are free they can't do that they have to make some sort of way to get free packs they have to it can't just be two free packs a day. That Then it won't be fun. It won't be fun. Let's say someone gets a really, really overpowered card on their first pack. And then you always battle against them in quick play and you'll, you'll just never win. Plus, people who pay to win and have insanely, insanely good cards and you're free to play, you'll never win a quick play. <laughs> that That's what it is. Again, also, we don't know what the pull rates of these packs are, but from the looks of it, from what we've seen from the trailer, the pull rates don't look too high. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. They, to make it a super high success, 
and not a flop they can't make it pay to win because just from looking at that trailer it, it looks pay to win already i guarantee it's going to be one of those things where if you're free to play you're just collecting cards you're not battling <laughs> if you're free to play that's all you're going to be doing is collecting cards you won't be battling because you'll always lose to all the people who buy insane packs and get insane pulls and all that type of stuff like they have to make it so like if you win a battle you get a free pack there's challenges and if you complete the challenge you get a free pack the, the, there has to be stuff like that or at least like when you win a battle you get coin or like even if you lose if you if you just play a battle you get coins and then with coins you could buy a pack like it it has to be something like that it can't all be pay to win with just two free packs a day it can't be it'll be unplayable other than that obviously again all they showed was a trailer we saw a little bit of gameplay that's it we didn't see in-depth gameplay we saw trailer gameplay <laughs> which obviously isn't the full thing so we don't know how that game is going to play out hopefully they don't make it pay to win the way i'm saying it so the immersive cards are really cool but to me it feels like a gimmick uh everything really uh depends on exclusive yeah it, that's that's why i think it's gonna be majority microtransactions it might be something completely pay to win that's why i i think they have to add like challenges and stuff like that it will die very quickly that that's what i'm saying i i feel like it's gonna be something that is gonna have a lot of hype around it the first month that it comes out and then it'll it'll die right right after but a pokemon fan like myself i will genuinely play that like all the time if if it's not pay to win <laughs> because i've tried to find a game like that already i've tried to do it i've tried playing tcg online already once before because i wanted to collect cards online and i didn't like tcg online much i even tried going on the app store to try to find a fan made app exactly like that i've tried doing that a long time ago I, i've been trying to find a fan made game like this for a really long time and now it's it got announced yesterday and it's finally happening so for someone like me who's been wanting something like this for a really long time i'm very excited but i i hope they don't kill it that's what i don't want i hope it's not pay to win i hope there's challenges to get free stuff I hope you'll be able to play it free to play. That's what I want. Because two packs, two free packs per day plus pay to win. That's If that's going to be the game, I won't like it. It'll be physically impossible. Like I said, if it is like that where it's only two free packs per day and then everything else is microtransactions, it'll be physically impossible to play quick play. And if you're a free to play player, all you're doing is collecting cards. You're never battling. <laughs> so, yeah. But it could be cool. It's a cool game for collectors, Pokemon fans or competitive players because competitive players can play quick play. Pokemon fans could enjoy the immersive cards and collectors could enjoy collecting them. So it it is a really cool concept they just can't make it all pay to win they can't they will have microtransactions the hope is that it doesn't ruin the game i know 100 percent there's going to be microtransactions i just hope that the game doesn't involve just microtransactions like i'm saying like i hope other than the two free packs you get per day i hope you could get more free packs I hope there's a leveling up system where every time you level up, you get a free pack or you get coins for doing battles. Whether you win or lose, you get coins. And with those coins, you could get more packs or there's a challenge system. And, and every time you complete a challenge, you get packs. I hope 
it, it's okay if there's microtransactions. If people want to buy packs, they could buy packs. But I hope it's not just two free packs a day and then all microtransactions. There has to be some sort of other way to get free packs in that game. Or else it's it's just going to be a pay to win game that that's going to get killed instantly. Uh, Pokemon has been around for some years now, bro. So 29 years now <laughs> making a game just to lose money just isn't like them. They must have some kind of plan for this game. I hope they do as well. I, re I really hope they do too. So May maybe for all we know, maybe this game could get some sort of connection to pokemon go or or something on the switch maybe we get this same sort of concept on the switch and you can connect it to your phone kind of like what you can do with pokemon go and let's go pikachu and eevee you could connect those two games together and then play simultaneously like hopefully you could maybe they do something like that as well who knows pokemon go can connect to to pokemon home uh and scarlet violet so pokemon go can can do it they can make other games do it too they just have to uh, we don't know what their plan is yet obviously we don't know how that game is going to play out yet but hopefully it's not a microtransaction pay to win only game because if it is it's going to be very disappointing because again this is something that i've been wanting from pokemon for a really really long time now and it's finally happening it's finally coming and and it's it's looking better than what i expected it to be with the whole immersive cards thing so hopefully we we don't get a microtransaction pay to win game that's my whole hope but yeah uh, other than uh tcg pocket and um pokemon legends za uh pokemon presents was like obviously no one really cares about the rest unless you're a religious pokemon unite pokemon go pokemon cafe pokemon sleep user like bro <laughs> i still think at some point though we're gonna get a let's go johto game i do i do think at some point we we will because they're still teasing gen 2 they're still teasing it like crazy if you look at that Pokemon Presents, man, the first two things they showed off in Pokemon Sleep, uh, Suicune, Entai, and Raikou were coming. In, uh, and then in Pokemon Masters EX, one of the characters from Johto is in the game now. They're still teasing Johto very heavily. They kind of stopped teasing Unova. But. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy we're getting Legends EA. I'm really happy about that. Uh, 2025 is going to be a massive year for gaming. We're getting Pokemon ZA. We're getting GTA 5. Uh, and we're... Maybe it's rumored slash leaked that we're getting a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 remaster. <laughs> in 2025 so if all that's true well we know gta 6 and legends ea is true if black ops 2 remastered is true as well 2025 is gonna be a massive year for gaming and i can't wait i cannot wait I'm going to grind Legends EA to the day it comes out. <laughs> like, bro, I'm going to... As soon as pre-order is available, I'm pre-ordering it right away. 
the day that game comes out, bro, I'm never getting off. <laughs> I'm going to get my shiny charm right away, finish that Pokedex, and just go straight to streaming shiny hunting. <laughs> and then on a second account, I'll take my time with the game and play it slowly. <laughs> that's, that's my plan for ZA. How many of you hatched? At this point, I don't know. <laughs> uh, can't wait for for the release. I know I love Kalos. I'm so happy it's coming out. I'm gonna hatch one more egg then counts because I'm one away from finishing that box. Uh, Pokemon has brought more people together from different parts of the world than almost any other game in existence. Pokemon is the biggest video game franchise in the world. <laughs> they're, they're the most profitable. They're the most profitable company in the world. <laughs> and they're the biggest gaming franchise in the entire world. So. Although Pokemon isn't like. Extremely, extremely popular on social media and stuff like like i guarantee if you scroll youtube or well, i i already know 100 percent if you scroll youtube twitch all the all those types of services you'll find more fortnite minecraft you'll find more games like that than you before you'll find pokemon but it's the biggest video game franchise in the world especially pokemon cards man Pokemon cards is like, bro, the market alone for Pokemon cards. There's millionaires out there, almost billionaires out there who, who have made all their money just by Pokemon cards. Like, it's crazy. All right, let's see. Um, I had 244 in... um. Actually, four of them were already in this box. So in Pokemon Home, I have 240. So 240 plus 30, 270. Um, 300. That was my 300th egg hatch. The one, the one that I just did was 300 eggs so far. And then in my party in this box total, that's 330, 360, 390. Then uh, 420. I. <laughs> I. With all the eggs that I have currently, after I hatch everything in my boxes, I will be up to 420 eggs. So. Uh, again, like I said at the start of today's stream, I have so much eggs today. There's absolutely no way I I don't get shiny Quaxley today. Watch me not get it. Storm, what's up, man? I used to be an insane card collector with over 500 cards. Damn, I could show you guys my Pokemon card collection. I have a lot of cards. Some of them are, are worth, like, a lot of money, the ones that I have. <laughs> I have a Rayquaza EX card. It's not graded, so I don't know how much exactly it's worth. But anywhere, it's worth anywhere between 50 to 250 A PSA 10 being 250 But as a kid, I used to keep my cards in perfect condition. All my cards from, like, 10 years ago are all, like in brand brand new condition so maybe one day i'll get them graded and see how much they're they're properly worth but i have a lot of pokemon cards that are worth a lot of uh of money <laughs> so yeah and i i still collect to this day i still collect i've been collecting so yeah i don't buy every set obviously because pokemon cards are very expensive but um i do collect dang still no quaxley yep still no donald duck 
still no slightly lighter blue Donald Duck. <laughs> Have the hiccups. The only ones I've kept were nostalgic ones. The rest slowly gave away over the years. Uh, I remember my elementary school was really, really big on trading Pokemon cards to the point where our school had to ban Pokemon cards. But I remember everyone trading cards. I never gave away mine. I never gave away mine. I never brought mine to school and I never traded them because I, I knew I'm like, I'm not going to give away my Rayquaza EX for like, uh, I don't know, like a Pikachu. <laughs> Cause that's what people were trading for. Like Pikachu EXs for like mega Rayquazas. <laughs> like, come on, man. Obviously I'm going to keep the mega Rayquaza. I have a mega Rayquaza card. What are you collecting these days? Um, the last Pokemon TCG box that I bought was uh, the 151 set. That was the last one I bought. And I bought the Snorlax booster box and I got the Snorlax promo code and all that stuff. That was the last one I bought. And, and that one came out like um, around October. October of 2023. I haven't been buying Pokemon cards lately because money's been a little tight. A lot tight, actually, <laughs> lately. <laughs> uh, so I can't actually afford right now. I can't afford to just blow like a bunch of money on Pokemon cards, you know, because bro, one booster box is like, bro, it's like 80 bucks here. In Canada, eighty dollars Canadian. The the sets that came out right now, I want them so badly. I'm so tempted, but I know I can't. <laughs> Cause they have like sh they have shiny Pokemon in them. They look it's the Scarlet Violet set. I don't I don't remember what the set is called, but Scarlet Violet and they have shiny Pokemon in them. They look so sick, man. But yeah, eventually when uh, I'm stable enough to get more cards, yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna buy whatever set is the newest at that point, and just collect. I even have um, Happy Meal Pokemon cards. I have McDonald's Happy Meal ones. Yeah, Paldean Fates. That's the new one. It has it has like really really cool shiny Pokemon, and then the golden cards too. I saw Golden Maridon. It looks so sick. It looks so good. Wait, booster boxes are eighty. Oh, they're not to boot. They're like elite boxes. Those elite trainer boxes that come with a promo code, uh, eight packs, all those card dividers, the sleeves. Uh, booster boxes are like 400 bucks, bro. Like, <laughs> but they come with like 20 packs, man. Or like 30 packs, actually. But yeah, the ones I get, they're, they're, I think they're called, they're promo boxes or elite trainer boxes. I don't remember, but it's the ones that come with like nine packs and a promo card. So, yeah. They're really, really cool. I can show you guys actually. I'll show you guys a little bit of them. I'll show you guys a little bit of them because I have a lot. But yeah, I'll show you my favorites. I started collecting cards during X and Y. Just saying, so yeah. Um, 
Here's all my rares. This is my stack of rares. They're all in in uh, cases and sleeves. They're in cases and sleeves. Um, some of them are just regular hollows. They're not all like, but like the regular hollow ones are like all the. I have all the 25th anniversary legendaries. All that type of stuff. We'll start from the bottom. I'll just show you guys all of my rares. We'll start from the bro from the bottom, then go to the top. This card right here is in French, but it, uh, I looked up the price. If this card was in English, it would be fifteen thousand dollars PSA ten. But it's in French. That card, that's the one French card I have. <laughs> so yeah, they're uh, it's worth like not even three bucks. I have a Pikachu. This was when they remade the OG set during like the XY era. Uh, I have a Beedrill EX card right here. This is a really cool card. Don't remember when I pulled this. <laughs> I can't lie. Here we have this one's really cool. I have a Mewtwo EX right here. I was almost ready to move to Canada for $80 booster boxes. <laughs> oh my god. This is my Mega Rayquaza. I love this card. Mega Rayquaza looks so sick, man. Uh, I have a Gardevoir EX. This is a really cool one. Gengar EX. Gengar is my favorite Pokemon. So those of you wondering. This card I, I might actually be my rarest card. The one that I'm about to show you guys. I looked up the price for this. This card is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I don't remember the exact price, but it was somewhere between like, um, like 9,000 around that mark. But this card is, is pretty rare. PSA 10, 9,000, by the way, not regular. This is ungraded. So I really don't know the price of these, but it's a Charizard. It's really, really cool. Next, I have this Charizard. Charizard EX. This card is actually coming to uh, TCG Pocket. <laughs> That's the one that they showed off. This card was was my f the one that I'm about to show you was my first ever pull. This card that I'm about to show you guys, it was my first ever EX getting, my first ever ultra rare getting. Lugia EX. I pulled this thing way back in the day in the first ever Pokemon tin. It was a Rayquaza tin that came with a Rayquaza EX promo card. That Lugia, I pulled it from that. That was the first ever time I ever collected Pokemon cards. And this was the Rayquaza promo card. This is Rayquaza EX. Th this is another card that's worth like, this is like worth $250. I remember last time I checked. This is one of my favorite cards because obviously this was technically my first EX. It was a promo card, but technically was my first EX. Lugia was my first EX ever pulling. Then I just have here, I have a bunch of, uh, for example, the 25th anniversary ones. I have two Solgaleos. I, I want to keep these ones cased up and nice and good condition because obviously they have the 25th anniversary badge on them which is never coming back. I have a uh, Cosmog and Cosmog's Evolution here. Uh, I have a lot of these. I believe next year they're going to do the same stuff, but with the 30th badge. Because next year is the 30th anniversary. Here's a, a Xerneas EX, not EX. An Xerneas 25th anniversary. Uh, I have... Two Regiram 25th. These are really cool. Uh, I believe I have two Zekrom. Yeah, I have two Zekroms as well. Two Zekrom 25th anniversaries. 
all these 25th anniversary legendaries i get it it's not ex's or like ultra rares they're just basic hollows but these things too can go for a lot of money one day just because of that 25th anniversary badge here's two kyogres that i have they're really really cool i love all these 25th anniversary ones even the artwork i have a grout on right here it's really really cool uh lugia right here 25th uh ho -Oh, 25th this is really cool as well this one's my favorite one and i'm so happy i have two of them <laughs> two mu 25th anniversaries so mu 2 because <laughs> one plus one equals two mu 2 i have two mu's mu 2 okay i'm bad at puns uh now we're done with the 25th anniversary sets uh here's a flapple v that i have that's really cool i never liked the v's i always preferred ex ex or megas here's lance's charizard v this is a promo card that also could go for a lot of money someday um okay now now i'm onto the 151 set that i have i just i sleeved and cased a bunch of hollows because i know they were going for a lot i know the japanese ones go for more here's a a hollow vile plume uh a hollow raichu that looks pretty cool i know the starters and the pikachu line go for a lot of money in 151 even the the needle king and needle needle queen that's why i uh cased up and sleeved this needle king but yeah uh we're almost done here this with this one i cased and sleeved just because i really really like the artwork the ditto one i really like the artwork on this guy really really cool uh then i have even the ev line was worth a lot of money that's why i cased and sleeved this flareon i i really liked the 151 set here was the snorlax promo card that i got from uh from the set like the elite box that i got and then i got so unlucky the only thing i pulled from that whole thing was a venusaur ex but i'm happy it's a venusaur because even the starters the starters as well pull like a good value from them so yeah th those are all of my uh my rares obviously the ones that are the ones that are worth the most are my x and y ones hey what's up crispy man <laughs> i'm still missing the charizard from the celebration set that's a really really cool one man i i really want to get um paldean fates the new set just because of all the shiny pokemon that are in them i will i really liked i saw um what's his name unlisted leaf he, he's a pokemon pack opener he's a youtuber from australia he opens pokemon cards i saw when he pulled the shiny scissor in uh paldean fates it looked so good shiny scissor looked so good in the cards oh i would love to get uh paldean fates Seems pretty cool. To everyone watching right now, go subscribe to Crispy, man. I know I don't have much people in here because it's 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 1 p.m. on a on a school day, but <laughs> but uh, everyone in here, go subscribe to Crispy, man. He just hit a thousand subs. He's a really really good streamer, man. He plays Dynamax Adventures. I love watching his streams. <laughs> uh my son opened the new shiny set he loved it it looks so cool man it looks so cool i i really want to want to get one of those uh elite trainer boxes did he pull anything sick from it did he pull any good cards i saw the golden cards they're like golden blue with the maridon and all that they look really cool 
obviously those are ultra rares but they they look sick man somewhere under my bed as well i have my old tin i have my rayquaza tin where i got the rayquaza promo card and in there i should have my coins and uh, a mega rayquaza pin i think it's a shiny mega rayquaza pin I might, uh, it's under my bed. I know where it is under my bed. <laughs> I'm going to find it later and then put them on display, my coins and stuff, like somewhere in my setup. <laughs> uh, thank you for the shout out, bro. No problem, man. I, I know it's, it's not much. I don't have a lot of viewers right now, but <laughs> it, it's a school day and, and right now it's, uh, everyone's at school <laughs> the time that it is right now everyone's at school so so yeah <laughs> i really want to get this quaxly really want this quaxly Congrats on hitting 1k, bro. I hate when they creep up behind me while I'm hatching an egg, man. I hate it so much. It wastes so much time. It doesn't seem like a lot of time, but I could have hatched another egg within that encounter period. <laughs> so much Quaxly, man. Too much Quaxly. I've hatched over 300 Quaxly eggs. <laughs> Between all the Paldean starters, I got lucky with none of them. <laughs> none of them gave me luck. Sprigatito was the fastest one with 280 eggs. And that's still a lot of eggs. I did Sprigatito in 280. I did Fue Coco in 400 and and uh uh what was it it was like 470 or something like that and now quaxly we're pushing 400 so <laughs> oh my god between the paladin starters i got no luck man did you shiny hunt hisuian zorora i actually have never gone to shiny hisuian zorora before even in legends arceus like unintentionally hunting because sometimes when i'm bored i just open up legends arceus and i do a couple mass outbreaks uh i've never actually found a shiny zorora hisuian zorora hopefully in legends arceus when i start doing my 24 hour legends arceus stream hopefully i could find one I'm going to make like a hit list of Pokemon that I want shiny before uh, starting that stream. Obviously, I can't do that stream unless I get Quaxly. But uh, whenever that stream is, is ready, <laughs> I'm going to make a hit list of Pokemon that I want to get shiny in, in uh, Legends Arceus that I don't have shiny. And I'm going to try to get them during my 24 hour hunt. So yeah. Hisuian. Um... Zorora and Quillfish are both on that hit list. I know 100% Hisuian Zorora and Quillfish are going to be there. I've always wanted Hisuian Zorora. I've just never gone lucky enough to get one. Uh, My son pulled the mini Q full art card. Damn, man. He gets some luck, man. He gets some luck in TCG. He gets some luck. Hey, soon you're gonna have to show him TCG Pocket. <laughs> I'm sure your son is gonna fall in love with that TCG Pocket. I'm gonna fall in love with that, man. Again, like I said earlier, I really hope it's not a full microtransaction pay to win type game. I hope it's not just two free packs a day and they add some sort of way to get free packs in that game. But, uh, yeah, TCG Pocket is gonna be, it's gonna be really cool. I guarantee your son is going to be into that for sure. Mm. 
i'm excited for tcg pocket lol even me i can't lie i'm extremely extremely excited for it i think it's a really really cool concept but what i was saying before early on my stream crispy uh obviously what they showed off in the trailer was um two free packs per day what i'm hoping for is that because obviously there's going to be microtransactions to buy packs of real money what i'm hoping for is they make some sort of way other than those two free packs to get free packs like maybe in the quick play mode that they showed off maybe you get coins regardless if you win or lose and maybe if you win you get more coins and with those coins you could buy packs in an item shop or something like that or maybe there's a leveling up system and uh every time you level up you get free packs and stuff like that I, or maybe you could watch an ad to get a free pack or something because if it really is two free packs a day with microtransactions build in the game it's gonna be impossible to play quick play <laughs> it's literally gonna be impossible to quick to play quick play because everyone who's pay to win is just gonna win every game against free to play players so what i'm really hoping for for pokemon tcg pocket knowing me i'm probably gonna spend money in it so I, I'm most likely not going to be a free to play player in Pokemon Go. I'm not a free to play player. <laughs> the amount of money I've wasted into Pokemon Go is is hurtful. <laughs> it's genuinely painful to know that number. <laughs> so knowing me, I'm probably going to dump money into TCG pocket. I just hope there's a way to to do it free two free packs a day is better than nothing yeah that that is true that is true two free packs a day is better than no free packs and making the entire thing be microtransaction which would suck but uh still i still hope there's a way to get at maybe like at least a couple more packs in two because it, it all depends on the pull rates if it's easy to get an EX card or an ultra rare or a hollow or stuff like that, if it's easy to get one, then free to play players will probably, they'll be able to beat pay to win players in quick play. If not, if the pull rates are bad and it really just depends on l straight luck, then uh, pay to win players are, are, are going to dominate the scene. Plus two, I don't know how the paid packs are going to work. Because games like Overwatch, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Call of Duty, all those companies that had loot boxes, they all got sued. <laughs> all those companies that had paid loot boxes in their games, all of them got sued for gambling. <laughs> so if Pokemon Pocket has microtransactions, I think that's a shiny Jigglypuff. Oh my god, it is. That's a shiny Jigglypuff. And oh my god. I can't get Quaxly, but I could get this. <laughs> There's no way, man. I can't get Quaxly, but I could get this. This is the third random shiny Pokemon I've found hunting Quaxly. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Back to what I was saying. I, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, they, they all, all those companies got sued for having stuff like that. So. Oh, let's go. Critical capture. We got the Jigglypuff. <laughs> let's go. All right but uh yeah I, I don't know what what those packs are gonna be like they you know what it might be actually now that i think of it it could be like fifa like fifa packs in fifa you could see what you're buying
it, it, when you buy packs in FIFA, well, some packs, not every pack, but when you buy packs in FIFA, some of them you're able to see uh, what you're getting before you spend your money on it. So maybe so they don't get in some sort of lawsuits like every other game that's had loot boxes. Maybe they'll they'll make it so you can see what you're getting. And every day it changes because that's what FIFA's like. How many shundos do I have in Pokemon Go? I actually shiny hundos only one. I only have one. I can show you those two. I can show you all my hundos and stuff like that. Nintendo sued an open source switch simulator software company. Oh, emulator. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. I know they uh they get rid of emulators right away. I know that. Especially the Switch ones. They don't really care about um, Game Boy and DS emulators because obviously the, they don't do production for those systems anymore. But Switch emulators, yeah, they, they get banned like within like a few months of being out. But uh, Nintendo DS and Game Boy emulators, you could just find one. <laughs> and even 3DS ones, you could just find them. And, and they never get banned because obviously they don't produce DS games anymore. Game Boy or DS games anymore. So they don't really care. So yeah. Plus they don't even sell games on those systems anymore. When If you buy a DS game or a Game Boy game today, you're, you're buying off someone reselling. So that's why. That's why they don't care about those. Switch, they care. Because obviously they're still making sales from it. They're still producing games from it and all that. They'll care for Switch emulators. I have a Shundo Gyarados and Haxorus. I have a hundred percent IV Gyarados. It's not a hun. I mean, it's not shiny, but I have a Hundo Gyarados. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. A Shundo Gyarados and Haxorus. This is my only Shundo. And I got it on um, field research day. <laughs> this was like the first ever field research day. It was Marill field research day. And I, and I got my Shundo there. My one and only Shundo. But I have 3400% IVs. I have 34 100% IV Pokemon. So yeah. I could... I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm going to show you the ones that are memorable. Um, obviously Gyarados, Hundo, non-shiny Gyarados. I powered it up as much as I could because I want a Mega Evolve. I just don't have enough Mega Energy. Uh, I have a Hundo Dragonite, 100% IV Dragonite. That one's really cool. Again, powered that up as much as I could. Uh, I have 100% IV Palkia, which I made best buddies. That's pretty cool. I got that on Pokemon Go Fest 2021. So that was cool. Uh, other than that, they're all not that great. My hundos. I have a hundo Noibat. Oh, this one's my favorite one, actually. I got this 100% IV Pokemon the same day I got Shiny Arceus. 100% <laughs> IV Lucky Bidoof. I did a trade with my brother. <laughs> And he gave me 100% or he gave me a Bidoof and it ended up being lucky. I checked its IVs and it ended up being a hundo. And then that same day I got shiny Arceus. <laughs> so yeah, who's the real God there? Yeah, the real Pokemon God. <laughs> oh my God. That is so cool. Love the colors. Yeah, Pokemon Go's colors are really, really nice. I love the shinies in that game. Shiny sprites in Pokemon Go are some of my favorite shiny sprites ever. I love the way they look. I can't believe I found shiny Jigglypuff. <laughs> I found 
two shiny Drifloom and a shiny Jigglypuff before Quaxley. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> my luck with Quaxley. It, the Paldane starters in general, my luck with them have, has been horrible. Like, this is my longest shiny hunt ever. <laughs> and it's egg hatching three starter Pokemon. <laughs> like, come on, man. I gotta get this thing at some point. I hope it's today. I hope I'm getting this thing today. Hey, Katie, what's up? Uh, wait, I'm gonna read your message and putting an egg in there. Uh, I just woke up. I hopped on my switch and see you online. I'm like, is he live? And I'm here. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> what's up, Katie? <laughs> We're still doing Quaxley hunts. You missed uh, a shiny Jigglypuff like not even five minutes ago. <laughs> That's all you missed in today's stream. And I, I showed off my Pokemon cards. <laughs> That's what you missed. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, hopefully we get Quaxley today. That's the goal. Look at all that. I only have this much eggs left. I'm continuing. Today's the day. I don't care, man. I don't care how long I'm streaming for today. I have nothing to do. I got a video out today. I, I have nothing to edit other than YouTube shorts, but I, I usually save those for weekends anyway. Uh, I, I have nothing to do. <laughs> I'm ready for a long stream. It's only 2.17 p.m. I've only been live for an hour and a half at this point. I am getting shiny Quaxly today. Unless I go over odds. If I go over odds, it's like I'm restarting. And I'm close to odds. Which is not good. After, once I reach this last egg here. This last egg here is, um, egg number 420. So, I'm not far off odds. I'm not far- oh my god, I'm not far off odds. I am not far off odds. If none of these shinies that I have- I mean, if none of these eggs that I have are shiny, and I reach 420 Quaxly hatched, then I'll- I'll only be- oh my god. I'll only be 98 eggs. No, more. No, no, 98. I'll only be 98 eggs away from haunts. Oh my god, that's not good. That is not good. Uh, no, I'm thinking 92. I'll be 92 eggs away from odds. Which is three PC boxes full of eggs. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Starting to get nervous again. Like I did for Fue Coco. Bro, I don't want to go over odds. Because my problem is, if you go over odds, it's like you reset. It's like you reset. Odds are 512. If I go past 512, it's it's like my new number is is 1024. <laughs> like Jesus. The dedication is crazy. Yeah, it is, man. It really is. And if we do get shiny Quaxly today, <laughs> if we do get shiny Quaxly within these next couple eggs that I have in my PC, hopefully if we get the shiny, I'm evolving 
fully evolving Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley. All of my shinies, I'm fully evolving them. Uh, and then, boom! That's every single starter Pokemon ever created from Generation 1 to Generation 9 shiny in one copy of Scarlet. <laughs> so, all I need is Donald Duck. <laughs> Donald Duck is all I need. So, let's get it. Let's hopefully get it. That's the goal. Instead, we're getting two drift looms and a jigglypuff. <laughs> but yeah. Actually, and a Persian. When I got the shiny Persian, I was doing Quaxly. Literally, since starting Quaxly, this is my fourth live stream on Quaxly. And, uh, <laughs> I've gotten four full odds random shinies before one Quaxly. It was a Persian, two Drift Looms, and a Jigglypuff. Not a bad haul. Hopefully, I can get the Quaxly. <laughs> That's what I want, is the Quaxly. Those of you who are watching the stream, feel free to, to like the stream. It'll help me out, boost me up towards uh, that people's front page. And uh, yeah. At some point to keep me going, I'm going to go make a coffee, man. <laughs> to keep me going. But I, I, I'm today I'm dedicated, man. The dedication is real. I'm not working tomorrow. Uh, which means I could stream for a really long time tomorrow as well. So hopefully I could get shiny Quaxly today and then tomorrow I could start Legends Arceus hunting. That would be the goal. <laughs> that is my goal. Is to get Quaxly today so I could start Legends Arceus tomorrow. So yeah. ran straight into the evolution of Lechonk. I don't remember his name, but yeah. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I have high hopes. I think that the next one is going to be a uh, shiny. No, don't do that. I think this one's shiny. Watch. I really do think this is the shiny Quaxly. It's not, but it could have been. I'm pinning my chat message of shiny luck with the shiny eggs just so we have luck today. Thank you everyone for liking the stream. We're at 10 likes right now. Thank you everyone. I appreciate it. Number seven of luck. I'm way past number seven. <laughs> I want the shiny man. Number seven. Okay, so this is what we'll do. If you're saying number seven of luck. This is what we're going to do. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This egg right here, I'm gonna star it because that's gonna be the shiny. Because <laughs> you predicted or you said number seven of luck. This is the seventh next egg I'm gonna hatch. I don't really know how to phrase that. Cause I'm on like, like <laughs> 350 eggs right now. <laughs> but yeah, the duck is hiding from you. Oh, I know Donald duck does not want to be shiny. <laughs> hey, what's up ace? You're new to the streams, man. What is going on? Welcome. We are shiny hunting Donald duck. <laughs> Imagine it actually hatches on the 7th. I will personally make you a mod and, and gift you a membership. <laughs> if that specific 7th egg is a shiny. <laughs> if you get it, call it Donald Duck. I will. <laughs> actually, I don't know if I will because I... I did not nickname a single starter, so I don't want to nickname just one. <laughs> shiny Quaxley, I haven't seen it yet. Hope it's a good shiny. Sadly, <laughs> Ace, it's a horrible shiny. <laughs> All it does is the blue turns to a slightly lighter blue. So yeah. The seventh egg, the starred egg, is currently in my party. So let's see. Let's see if lucky number seven is gonna be the shiny. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Thank you to everyone who liked the stream, by the way. If you want to support the channel, just leave a like on the stream. And uh, yeah, you can subscribe if you want all that. If you want to join my Discord, link in the description. Dodge that, Eevee. I'm in the Matrix, man. <laughs> Oh, why didn't they use the colors or more realistic duck colors for the shiny? If I'm being honest, I have no idea. Every single shiny Pokemon that's bad, I don't know what goes through their head when they make it. <laughs> I can't lie. I genuinely don't know what goes through their head. Like, what, what went through Game Freak's head when they made Gengar shiny? Genuinely. <laughs> I can't believe they still do shinies like that. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, genuinely, what goes through their head when they make these shinies? Like, oh, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> We're almost at the starred egg. We're almost there. We're almost there. This is the prediction. Let's see. They just saturated it. I know. I feel like uh, Sprigatito is even saturated. Sprigatito, at least something on him changes, but the rest of his body is just all saturated. The only thing that changes is his eyes. <laughs> Shiny Donald Duck actually looks like it's developed <laughs> of oxygen. <laughs> oh, deprived of oxygen. Oh my god. I'm dyslexic, by the way, so forgive me if I read anything wrong in chat. That's why some people's names in chat, I don't say their names because I genuinely can't pronounce. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I think they used an algorithm on the other games. 
I don't know, may I don't know, but even even that, even if they use like some sort of program that creates the shinies for them, they see them themselves and they don't think to redo it. <laughs> like th that's what I don't get, man. All right. I think it's this one. Yep. The next egg is the starred egg. So we're going to see if the prediction is true. Let's see. Is the prediction true? It's not. <laughs> it's not. Sadly, it's not. <laughs> uh, oh my god. The deadlines are though. I think there's a lot to do. Rushing. I don't know. I don't know if it if it's a deadline thing because realistically it doesn't take a long like no what i think they do when they make shinies i'm pretty sure they make the shinies as they're developing the pokemon obviously when they make new pokemon and they're drawing out like they're sketching out the new pokemon and they color it in and stuff i'm sure they do a second version and make it different colors for a shiny that's what they should do That's what they should do for shinies. Because some of these shinies, man. Like, genuinely, what goes through their head when they make something like Gengar or, Gar or Garchomp? And if it is a pre made program that makes the shinies for them, and if it is rushed, like, why don't they change it over time? Uh, Magnazone. What is it? Magnazone, the fully evolved version of Magnemite? I think that's his name. I don't remember if it's Magnazone or Magneton. But the fully evolved Pokemon in that line, they changed his shiny at least three times over the years. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, Katie's back. Okay, show me the shiny. I'm looking forward to seeing the shiny myself. I still haven't seen it yet. <laughs> like, still hasn't popped up on my screen yet. But yeah, what you did miss, Katie. Where is it? You missed this. Throw me the shiny. <laughs> this is what you missed on uh, today's stream so far. Shiny Jigglypuff. But no Quaxley. <laughs> So far in uh, one Quaxley shiny hunt in four different streams of shiny hunting Quaxley, I've gotten a shiny Persian. I've gotten two shiny Drifloom back to back and a shiny Jigglypuff, but no Quaxley. No Quaxley. <laughs> How dare you miss Crispy stream yesterday. He hit 1.1K. I know I saw I, I wasn't in stream when it happened because I was asleep but when I woke up I watched back the stream and I watched his reaction to hitting 1k and then I congratulated him on Instagram and all that and he joined he was in my stream like like 20 minutes ago while you were gone and uh yeah we spoke so yeah Black Primus GB, I see you're following your heart taking. I'm so dyslexic. <laughs> you're following heart taking. Happiness by doing it for very thing you love. Don't let anyone get in your way. You're amazing. 
and stay safe enjoy life thank you so much man thanks for that yeah youtube has been my passion for for a long time man for a long time I, to those of you who don't know i've been doing youtube for nine years now <laughs> at this point i've been doing youtube for nine years uh i started doing youtube in 2015 then i did it for like i did youtube for maybe a year or two then i stopped i completely stopped because my elementary school wouldn't let me upload videos anymore <laughs> And then I came back in 2020 a and when I came back in 2020, I wanted to do things professionally. Cause obviously when I was a kid, but I, I did like, I don't, I don't even remember <laughs> Applin spawns here. That's cool. When I was a kid, I was doing like on YouTube. I don't even know. I did Pokemon stuff back then, but they were like random stuff. Uh, I just uploaded like vlog style as a kid, but obviously I was a kid. So they were just random stuff of me, like in my room, <laughs> they're all deleted. I should have privated those videos so I could always go back and watch them myself to look back on old memories, but I deleted all of them instead of privating them. I should have privated them, man. Uh, what is the longest hunts you guys did? Mine is this. <laughs> Mine is this, the Paldean starter trio. I've been at it for three weeks now. <laughs> and if I don't get shiny Quaxley today, we're pushing a fourth week of this, a month. That's a month, four weeks is a month. <laughs> so if I don't get shiny Quaxley this week, then we're on one month of doing this. <laughs> it took me a week for Sprigatito, a week for Flake for Fue Coco, and so far four days for Quaxley. We're pushing a week. So yeah. <laughs> We're on our third week right now. Uh let's make pasta. I want marshmallows. It better be a uh, good pasta, Katie, because I'm an Italian. So I will judge your pasta. <laughs> I will judge it. Why do I get this screen? You cook? I don't. <laughs> I actually have no idea how to cook. <laughs> The most I could do is like boil water. <laughs> I know how to use uh, a toaster, a toaster oven, a microwave, and a panini press. But and and on the stove, all I know how to do is boil water. The oven, uh, it's a. I have no idea how to use the oven. <laughs> So yeah, I actually do not know how to cook. That's all you need. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I do not know how to cook. But what I do know how to do is shiny hunt. <laughs> so if I could get quacks, that would be nice. That would be very nice. Caxley. Oh my god, man. I need this thing. Hey, thank you guys for 12 likes on the stream, by the way. I 
I'm a blushy hub or what? <laughs> Imagine Giuseppe Plushy. If ever I get a sponsorship from like U2s or something, <laughs> then that could be be happening someday. <laughs> I know Jack sucks at life has one. <laughs> Speaking of sponsors, I got my first sponsor for a video. My video that came out today was I, I had a sponsor for it that was my first ever sponsorship on youtube so that was a proud moment for me recording that sponsorship <laughs> crispy blushy oh my god again if he gets a he gets a youtube partnership <laughs> very precious yo what starting to think uh katie is has a small obsession for crispy <laughs> oh. oh my god <laughs> that would be cool uh my sponsor it was motus anime clothing they make anime merch and they have a lot of pokemon merch and uh yeah i have a promo code Jew Borsolino to get 10% off. <laughs> but yeah. But you know what else you could do? If you want to support the channel. If you want to get. Uh, all these cool custom emotes. You could become a member. Or just. $2.99 a month to join the Pichu crew and if you want to join the Pikachu crew it's just $4.99 a month and you get early access to videos plus shoutouts plus members only live streams and if you're a real supporter a true true fan a die hard Zeppa Borsalino fan then you could pay for $12.99 a month to get the Raichu crew and with the Raichu crew you get everything I listed before already Plus, you get to play games with me if I need fans for a video. Become a member today. <laughs> and, 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 and those four emotes that I put in chat are the only four emotes that are currently out. But if we get more members to become, uh, 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 I screwed up my promo. If we, <laughs> if we get more members to the channel, we can unlock more emotes and I can add more. I have over 15 emotes made already waiting to unlock some more members. So if you guys want to become a member for just $2.99, you could become a member. Thank you. <laughs> my ears. That's real ASMR. ASMR. My girlfriend said ASMR. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's my promotion. ASMR salesman. <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully we can get Quaxley, shiny Quaxley. That would be nice. That would be amazing. Hopefully this is the one. ASMR drug dealer, bro. What? <laughs> Imagine. Oh my God. <laughs> shiny. No, of course. Of course.
we don't have much left. Julia is your girlfriend? Yeah, she is. She has been my girlfriend for the last four years. <laughs> and she got that promise ring on her finger. <laughs> oh my god. Is she small? What? What do you mean by that? She's actually taller than me. By by two inches. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> You're engaged? No, I'm not engaged. It, it's a promise ring. A promise ring is is you give someone a ring and that ring means you promise to marry them one day that's what a promise ring means so yeah <laughs> i'm sweating balls in my room right now <laughs> julia lucky <laughs> oh my god Hopefully we can get this shiny. Hopefully we can get this shiny. I'm sweating like crazy right now. It's so hot in my room. I only had one boyfriend in my life and it was five years ago. <laughs> At least you, you tried. At least you tried. <clears throat> At least you had the experience of being in a relationship. Because I'm anti-social. Again, like I said, at least you tried it. Bro, always the Persian just trying to encounter me after an I got Hate it so much. <laughs> These damn Persians. And he encounters me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to kidnap the Persian. Well, that's animal abuse, man. Hopefully we get this thing. Not shiny. Only if they find out, yo, what the f <laughs> It's only animal abuse if- if PETA finds out. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, man. <laughs> Baguette croissant. Putin. We're just naming French food now.
Was that another shiny Jigglypuff? Okay, no. I was about to say. I'm like, no way I got a second one. Before Quaxley. A brioche. But when am I going to get this thing? <laughs> like, come on. When, when am I genuinely... When am I going to get this shiny? <laughs> Sandwich. One of these eggs, man. There's no way I had 150 eggs today. With no shiny. Four, uh, once I finish all the eggs in my PC box, I'll be at 420 total Quaxley hatch. There's no way I'll, uh, there's no way I'm doing 420 without getting a single shiny. There's no way. I really hope I, I don't jinx myself, but there's no way that happens, man. Panini. She can cook, yes. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I went almost 10k eggs on Masuda before. Oh, my God. It, Ten thousand eggs to get one shiny. That's that's. Bro, you went over odds twenty times. Like. <laughs> Not in the new games. Okay, in the new games, it's very easy compared to the old games. I was about to say, I'm like, if that's Scarlet Violet, 10,000 eggs to get a shiny. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> oh my God. Even this guy has to encounter me. That's still a lot of eggs, oh, 10k, Jesus. <laughs> Even what I'm at, man. Like... Bro, uh, over the last month, in total, from hunting Bagon to now Quaxley... Because for the last month, I've been doing Masuda. I did Bagon, Dreepy, Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and now Quaxley. Between those five Pokemon so far, I, I'm I'm over like 2,000 eggs hatched within the last month. <laughs> like, it's nuts. Again, Persian. And this random shopping bag that just crosses the screen. Shiny, nope. <laughs> my lifelong achievement is making a croissant. <laughs> oh my god. 
I make a really, really good peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> I always check for shroomish because that's a really rare shiny. That wasn't even my longest hunt though. Cabalion took me like 30,000. Oh my God. Well, that's nuts. Mareep 35K. Oh my God, man. That is nuts, bro. How do you even have the patience for that, man? <laughs> also had some very easy hunts. Yeah, most of my hunts are easy. Bro, I've been shiny hunting for a really long time, and the Paldean starter trio is my longest shiny hunt yet, and it's only taken me a month. I'm still doing it. It's only... It's, no, I'm on three weeks, not even a month. I've only been doing it three weeks. This is my longest hunt ever. So most of the time I do hunts, I get good luck. I'm still yet to have an extremely, extremely horrible uh, uh, luck while shiny hunting. How much time do you have? Yeah, for real. How much time do you have? What do you do all day where you hatch 30 to 35? No, not hat. What you... 30 35k encounters jesus <laughs> dynamo what is up welcome to the stream uh katie again i i speak french but i can't read it <laughs> so i have no idea what you said dynamo said english please <laughs> oh my god yeah, not everyone watching is in Quebec, man. Alaska boy, what's going on, man? <coughs> Alaska boy, you missed a shiny Jigglypuff. No, Dynamo is not a mod. Who just... How come his message just got rejected, man? You could say that. Uh, I've been hunting before. Sword Shield became popular. Wait, Sword Shield? No, what? I'm so dumb, man. <laughs> uh, okay. Jeez, man. <laughs> That's sick, man. You're like a like a pure pure shiny hunter then. No, before yeah, I I knew what I know what uh I knew what shiny hunting for some reason I thought sword shield. <laughs> yeah, shiny hunting when shiny hunting became like super super popular, it was around like Ultra Sun Ultra no not Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. It was like a XY era. When shiny hunting became really, really popular, it was around X Y era, uh, Omega Ruby off of Sapphire era. Because I remember everyone was doing, um, even Sun Moon, it became really popular because everyone was doing a SOS method, all that type of stuff. It was actually not X and Y, Omega Ruby off of Sapphire. Shiny hunting was popular, like that's when it became popular. But I wouldn't say that was its peak. I think shiny hunting's peak was was sun moon ultra sun ultra moon when the uh, sos method came out and all that type of stuff that's when shiny hunting was like at its peak popularity i what <laughs> hey can you ask him if you want a shiny level 100 rcs i have a shiny rcs so uh 
I don't if you're asking me, I don't need one. <laughs> uh I ate my cat, bro. What damn autocorrect? I ate his cat. What the hell, bro? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> uh, I respect everyone, but I laugh my ass off when people say my hunts took like almost odd. Jesus. <laughs> they don't understand the struggle. Yeah, bro. Back in the day, the older games, especially shiny hunting was a lot harder than it was nowadays. So, uh, yeah, man, like for you to go 35k on one hunt, like, bro, that probably took you. I, I guarantee just off seeing how long it takes me to do encounters, I would estimate that 35,000 encounters took you over a year. <laughs> A hundred percent. Unless you were grind grinding like day in, day out, 10 plus hours a day. Then it probably took you like a, maybe a couple months. <laughs> but if you're like me where, where you only play for like... I only shiny hunt Quaxley, for example, while I'm streaming it. I don't do it off stream. So I, it takes me a while because I only stream for a couple hours a day. So like... If you were a dedicated shiny hunter back then, yeah, it probably took you a couple months. If you were like me, where you play like maybe a few hours, maybe like three to three to six hours per day shiny hunts, bro, it probably took you over a year, 35,000 encounters. Like, Jesus. <laughs> oh, crap. Calm down, Queso. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> uh, Katie said, what if I eat the fridge? And <laughs> he responded, calm down, Queso. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alaska voice of Katie, you're weird. Katie said, Alaska, learn your English, please. <laughs> Oh my god, everyone's weird in their own ways, guys. Like, we don't gotta discriminate. <laughs> Who's Queso? You don't know Queso? Oh, he's a popular Twitch streamer right now, and, and he he's he's overweight, and his entire chat just tells him off for, for being fat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god <coughs> I just got a shiny starter from training Do you want it? Uh, No I don't I want to get everything myself Quaxley is the only shiny starter In the entire game that I'm missing I have every shiny starter From gen 1 to gen 8 And then I have Sprigatito and Fue Coco Literally the only shiny starter ever that I'm missing is Quaxley. So hopefully I get this thing today. <laughs> You're not helping your case, Alaska. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm here. I just had to do some homework. Sorry again, Gavin. It's all good. Do what you got to do uh, I'm not I'm not holding you guys hostage, you know <laughs> so Yeah, do do what you guys got to do If you if you have to go to school if you have to do homework all that type of stuff do your thing man 
I haven't you could have it again uh Daniel thanks for the offer but I won't take uh I won't take the the shiny starter I, I want I want to do them on my own because what I like what I'm I don't for some reason when it comes to shinies I'm really picky I like having uh for example the original trainer and then my name I like having that so yeah Playing twice if you're fine. I'm tempted. Yo, Alaska boy, don't uh I know you guys are like getting in little little arguments right now, but don't remove people for no reason. Or I, or I'm gonna unmod you. <laughs> so yeah. That that's uh, to everyone whose mods do not abuse your power or I will unmod you. No shiny still. Uh, to get both, it took me a little over two years. Yeah, one of them was 30k, the other one was 35k. Like, I expected it to be over year long hunts. Uh, I didn't hunt in phases. These were my longest hunts, but not my most annoying. Oh, well, what was your most annoying hunt? I'm curious now, cause uh. You're obviously a shiny hunting veteran. You've been shiny hunting longer than me. I, I gotta know these, these, uh, these advice like that you're giving me so I could know for myself so I don't have to put myself through two full years of, of pain. <laughs> so, so yeah. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I've been doing pretty good, Gavin. How about you? Uh, do you want shiny? Ching Pao and Ching Pao. No, I'm good. I'm good. You know, thanks for the offer, but again, I'm good. Uh, I didn't do anything. Okay, I'm just chilling. I won't abuse. Yeah, mod whoever's mods, please don't abuse your powers or I will unmod you. So, yeah. Uh, wait, I have. Wait, have you got the shiny yet? Nope. Still no shiny Quaxley. Still no shiny Quaxley. <laughs> Gavin, I know you're good. I know you're 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 chilling. The person I was talking to there was Alaska Boy because he was removing people's comments before, so I was like, I, I was just letting him know, you know. But yeah. <coughs> uh, did you have a pal before Chimp Pal? I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you talking about Power World? Because I don't have Power World. Uh, I'm pretty good. I'm just doing some homework. Again, do your thing, man. If you have to leave stream, leave stream. But uh, if you're capable of multitasking, like me personally, I I'm able to multitask. I'm able to do like homework while watching YouTube at the same time. Stuff like that. So, yeah. Whoa! Alaska boy, damn! Thank you for the $20 donation. Jesus. You did not have to do that, my guy. <laughs> Get the shiny already? Bro, I hope so, man. I really hope. Thank you for that, Alaska boy. Jeez. <laughs> W's in the chat for Alaska boy, man. W's in the chat. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> Have you given the fifth person the longest comments mod yet? Yeah, he he's mod. I gave all five of my uh, my OGs mods, and I gave my girlfriend mod too. So I have six mods. So yeah. <laughs> uh. No, the Pokemon Ching Pao. I have no idea that's even a Pokemon. 
I'm not familiar with Gen 8 or Gen 9. I can't lie. Even Gen 7, I'm not really familiar with. I can't lie. Uh, Me too. That's what I'm doing. W Alaska. That's $25 US. Damn. Uh, where can it? Yeah, it's 20 bucks Canadian for us. It's still worth the same amount. <laughs> w what? Bro, W for donating, bro. W's in the chat, bro. <laughs> Thank you for that. 1% honeycomb sh shiny munch lax. Oh my god. And female co oh yeah bro female combies are the worst on that's um uh omega ruby alpha sapphire hunts if i'm not mistaken right i believe honeycomb encounters are i'm pretty sure omega ruby off sapphire if not uh if not it might be sun moon i'm not sure i think it's omega ruby off sapphire if i'm not mistaken uh i found somebody named not go oh, he's trading shiny uh Mo most of those on gts trades if you're or surprise trades if you're doing surprise trades and you're getting shinies they're most likely hacks so you uh dynamo be careful with that but it um if they're hack shinies you can keep them and nothing will happen but if you use them in online tournaments and stuff like that you'll get banned and if you put them in your pokemon home your nintendo switch online will immediately get banned so be careful with that but yeah those hunts are extremely tiring yeah honeycomb hunts stuff like that with munchlax one percent hunts in general but i remember watching um what's his name uh fleece king i think it's Fle no no fleece king is pokemon ghost streamer uh reversal reversal he he shiny hunted uh a four percent spawn phoebus and it took him like four years to to do and he ended up getting like over 500 shiny magikarp in the process so yeah uh so i've only ever shiny hunted one pokemon what was that pokemon gavin Yes, Katie, what's up? Especially if you don't fuck with the time settings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it takes you so much time. <laughs> uh, no, in Pokemon Platinum. Okay, okay, okay. For some reason, I thought... I, I think you could do that, too, in... Uh, um... Uh, what's it called? In Omega Ruby Off Sapphire. I'm pretty sure you could do it, too. I remember seeing a drive doing stuff like that for honeycomb. I mean, uh, for combi. I remember seeing a drive do hunts like that. Mm. <laughs> uh, I have a song called Boogie Down in my Pokemon home. Yeah, but those are those are pro that one's probably not a hack you probably got a legit one the hack ones are are like those shiny pokemon that you get from from surprise trade and they're named after a website or they're level 100 right away or um uh they're um what's it called uh their ivs are like the best that they could possibly be those are the hack shinies Wait, W what? You donated, bruh. You sent me super chat, so I sent W for thanks. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you for that. Um You could have told me that like 10 minutes ago my Pokemon home doesn't want to work right now. <laughs> yeah, that could be no no it, it's it's your entire Nintendo Switch online account that will get banned, not your Pokemon home. So if you still have Nintendo Switch online, you're fine. So yeah. Uh 
trying to keep up with chat. <laughs> While shiny hunting. Mm -mm. And I'm the one that can't. Uh, if it's a legit shiny, Katie, you're, you're good. But yeah. If it's a hack shiny in Pokemon Go, then it then it'll work. It, it, I mean, you'll get banned. <laughs> mm. It was a Mankey and Let's Go Pikachu. Mankey's a really cool shiny. I really like the green shiny. Uh, got to go by. I'll see you in the next stream, Alaska boy, or if I'm still alive later. Hey, thanks for donating again. Two bucks, man. Thank you so much, Alaska boy. <laughs> Let's go, man. Um, yeah, it's sad though. A lot of the OG hunters never got big. Uh, shiny popped off for a drive. Yeah. A drive is like, I think the biggest shiny hunters out there. OG wise is, is a drive. A drive is like the biggest one. Mm, yeah. It's because, it, you know what it is? I noticed most of the OG shiny hunters that really popped off during the X and Y era. Whenever I go back at their channels nowadays, they're not uploading like shiny hunts anymore. They're doing like news videos and stuff like that. So they're like, they're not really doing shiny hunts anymore. And, and either way, they're not doing shiny hunts the way the new age shiny hunters are like, like me. Like where they do the Mr. B style content, like the intros are like, I shiny hunted the Paldean trio. Like, <laughs> they're not doing like Mr. Beast quick content, highly engaging stuff anymore. They're, they're still like, they still stayed the same content wise as they were 10 years ago. That's why they never really blew up the way they did or why they're not as relevant as they were today but a drive he's still he has like 1.1 million subs he's still doing good today like a drive is still popping off also how did i not get a single shiny quaxly from that <laughs> like i hatched so much eggs i'm keep i'm gonna still go bro i'm gonna keep going i said earlier this is gonna be a really really long stream i'm not stopping till i get shiny quaxly today <laughs> uh those were the golden days. Yeah, for sure, bro. Again, I love the X and Y era. That's my favorite era. That's why I'm so happy that we're getting Pokemon Legends uh, ZA. So, yeah. Uh, It's not shiny by Alaska Boy. Uh, uh, why did I just attack? I didn't mean to attack. Uh, Let's buy Prime. Uh, I'll be back. Just gotta go do something again. Gavin, take your time, bro. Do whatever you need to do. Uh, wow, so many people are here. W stream. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. So those of you who are just joining in, make sure to leave a like on that stream, bro. Make sure to leave a like if you're enjoying yourself over here. If you're enjoying your time. I'm, I'm back. Just changed my profile pic. Nice, Gavin. It's a pretty cool picture. Under 67 viewers, I know, man. <laughs> to those of you just tuning in, we're currently shiny hunting Quaxly. So, uh, yeah. Hunting the Paldean starter trio. Quaxly being the last one. The final starter Pokemon that I need is this Quaxly. So, hopefully, we can get this thing going today. Mm. let's see if we can get to 100 likes that would be insane so those of you just tuning in let's see if we can get 100 likes on today's stream let's go <laughs> like this stream hit that like button let's do this one day i'm gonna run into an accidental shiny ditto and it's gonna be amazing <laughs> Dyn uh, Dynamo said I got shiny Sprigatito. Nice, man. Congrats. I'm still hunting Quaxly. So <laughs> we're almost at odds with Quaxly. So hopefully I can get this thing pretty soon. Uh, You have two kinds of OGs. 
from Gen 2 upwards. Uh, then having odds. <laughs> mm, Hunts X and Y. <laughs> oh my god. I think, me personally, I think X and Y is the best era of Pokemon. That's when it was at its peak. That's when Pokemon's popularity was at its peak, too. Was that during the X and Y era. That's when it was at its peak. So, yeah. Uh... It's a while back now, yeah. Bro, 10 years ago. X and Y was 10 years ago. <laughs> That's the highest view count I've seen on your stream. I think it was. 220 I saw. I think that might have been the highest viewership I've ever gotten. No, actually. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Uh, Once I live streamed the jake paul versus anderson silva boxing match and i had like four thousand people watching at one time <laughs> that's the most viewers i've ever gotten in one stream <laughs> yeah oh i don't know if you guys heard my fingers crack that felt so nice man that felt so nice Well, the people that were joining in on that stream, they were joining in because they wanted to watch the live stream, you know. Indy, welcome to the streams, my friend. <laughs> Silly. What is up, man? How do I use the stickers? Uh, if you want to use my custom emotes, like the Arceus one and the Let's Go and the Shiny Egg and the Shiny Luck and all that, you have to become a member for that. Uh, it's $2.99 a month. The cheapest program so if you want to do that you can you get benefits you get shout outs early access to videos and you get the custom emotes and custom gifs that i still have to make but eventually once i make them you'll get them so if you want to become a member it's there it's 2.99 a month for the cheapest program so yeah how have i hatched 150 eggs in today's stream with no shiny we're coming close to odds after I hatch however many eggs I have left in my party, bro, that's 420 total eggs hatched. Like, oh my god, man. Uh, why don't you create your own energy drink? Well, I'm a small creator. It's going to cost me a lot of money to do that. <laughs> but uh, maybe one day that would be pretty good. Um... Okay, Indy put an emoji. That's a really cool emoji. Katie's back. What's up, man? Don't you become a mod? Yes, everyone who is a member also becomes a mod in my streams. Gavin, you're already mod because, again, you were an OG. You've been in almost every single stream since the beginning. So I made you mod. But yeah, everyone who uh, wants to become a mod or wants to get my cool custom emotes. And people who just want to support in general the streams. You can become a member if you want. So yeah. Uh, 237 viewers, I know. Thank you to everyone who is tuning in. Welcome to the streams. Katie. Uh, I love Lil Peep. Uh, I don't really like Lil Peep. I can't lie. But my favorite rapper, I don't know if you can tell, uh, is Lil Skies. <laughs> around the, he came up around the same era as Lil Peep. My girlfriend got me that vinyl. <laughs> So yeah. Pumpkin, what's up, man? Welcome to the live streams. Fortnite noob, also, what is up? Welcome to the live streams. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <coughs> Still no Quaxley, man. <clears throat> Mingya, my th oh, actually, you guys don't know what Mingya means. I just said Mingya. You have no idea what that means. <laughs> That's Italian. Mingia is like saying fuck. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> Just realized you guys have no idea what that means. I'm saying Italian slang. <laughs> uh still shiny. Still shiny hunting is both uh patient and awareness. Yes, that's true. Patience and awareness. Uh, I've run from so many shinies before because I wasn't aware. I've never actually run away from shinies, but I think 
In Scarlet Violet, most likely I've run away from shinies. Because Scarlet Violet is an, is an open world game. The shinies too, because of the lighting, it's very easy to miss shinies in this game. I guarantee in Scarlet Violet, I've, I've missed so much shinies. But main series games, I've never missed a shiny before. <clears throat> Bouncy, what was your first ever shiny Pokemon? My first ever shiny was a shiny uh, Relicanth. And it was full odds. Full odds, random shiny Relicanth in Pokemon Omega Ruby. And I caught it on my first ball. It was really, really lucky. And I transferred it over to Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I ended up sending it over to my Switch. Because I was afraid when they would close the 3DS servers that uh, they would end up um, uh, just like not being able to transfer them over <laughs> so yeah uh, uh, uh make sure to like it's still 12 yes everyone who's joining the stream if you guys are enjoying yourself over here if you're liking the stream make sure to leave a like on today's stream i'll really appreciate it it'll help out the channel this is my last egg, and then I have to make uh, another sandwich. Like I said, today is a long stream. I'm not stopping till I get that Quaxley, man. I'm fed up of doing starters. Quaxley is the last one I need. Literally the very last one I need. I'm not stopping till I get this thing done, man. Uh, Gavin, I can't buy the membership, but I'll still support. It's all good, man. Again, you don't have to become a member. It's if you it's if you want to support out the channel, you know, if you're a fan and you want to support me, you could become a member. So, yeah. Okay, I still have a lot of PC spaces. I don't have to move over to Pokemon Home just yet. Uh, but it's it's egg gathering time. <laughs> We're currently, by the way, after that last egg. We're at 420 total uh, eggs hatched for Quaxley and still no shiny. So we're getting very unlucky. <laughs> Sadly. Again, the Paladin starters, man, they showed me no luck. No luck, man. Uh, Gavin, I have no idea what you said. <laughs> Hey, Eddie, what's up, man? Mm. Uh, isn't the starter shiny locked? No, I, I, they're shiny locked when you pick them at the beginning of the game. You can egg hatch them for shinies. I have shiny Sprigatito and Fue Coco already. Good Pacey, you're back, man. What's up? Uh, chat is going so fast. Hmm. I believe in you. Get the shiny Quaxley. Thank you, pet lovers, man. I, I've been trying. <laughs> I've really been trying, man. I'm at 420 total encounters and still nothing, sadly. But hopefully we could get it. I'm not ending stream today until I get that shiny, man. It, it's I, I want to end this hunt so tomorrow I could start my Legends Arceus 24-hour shiny hunt. That That's what I want. <laughs> the question hurts because... Uh, so many... Ah, oh, wow. So your first shiny ran from you? Damn, man. <laughs> 421st. That's the charm? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, my God. Shiny Quaxley. Shiny Quaxley. Please, man. Please, man. Uh, it means I like cake and apples. Okay, man. I like cake and apples, too. <laughs> I never told her I was borrowing her copy <laughs> for hunting purposes. Damn, man. <laughs> you just snaked your sister's copy for shiny hunting. Set a 30-minute timer. <laughs> at least you got one, man. It ran, but at least you encountered one. Like, at least you could say you encountered one. Storm, still no shiny. Yup, still no shiny, man. 
Wait, 400 is unlucky. I had 700 cool fish eggs and thought it was quick. Well, um, it all depends if you have a shiny charm and if you're doing the Masuda method or not. I have both. I have an Asian ditto with a English Quaxley fully evolved. I remember the name. So that's Masuda method, which means my shiny odds are boosted. And I have a shiny charm, which means my shiny odds are boosted even more. So my shiny odds are one and um, one in 512. After I pass one in 512, I break odds. And I'm currently at 420. So if I pass 512, I broke odds. And then I, it's like my odds turn into f 1024. That's what it'll be like. So yeah. Um. Uh, and it's a native language in Ireland. I had no idea. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna watch the legend streams. Hopefully, if we get shiny Quaxley today, it's gonna start tomorrow. If not, stay tuned, man. I I, I really don't know how long this Quaxley's taking or it's gonna take me, man. If I break odds on Quaxley, uh it's it's gonna be painful. It's gonna be painful, I can't lie. <laughs> oh my god. She took the game and ran ran from it because it was her game. <laughs> Oh my god. Wild and craft, what is up, man? Is that craft? I think that's craft. <laughs> uh what show me Pokemon should I hunt for? What Pokemon should you hunt for? I'm gonna give you a challenging hunt. A semi-challenging semi-easy. Uh I will give you a uh do a froki hunt because froki is my favorite starter if you have the scarlet violet dlc the indigo disc dlc do a froki hunt how soon before it it takes longer than fue coco 40 more eggs and it takes longer than fue coco i got fue coco at 480 and we're at um uh no no more 60 more eggs i got free cocoa at 480 well actually we're at 420 right now so yeah 60 more eggs and it takes longer than free cocoa which is gonna get scary again because again i don't want to break odds uh i only did four and ditto method uh and i lack the shiny charm if you you still broke odds though if you were doing masuda method but no shiny charm then your odds was one in 640 so so if you got in 700 encounters you still broke odds, but you didn't break them that much. Uh, I reclaimed that shiny later in my shiny ending career after 9,775. Jesus, man. <laughs> Random encounters, bro. That's a lot, man. My first shiny was a... Uh, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Um... What shiny Pokemon should I hunt for? Like I said, if you don't have the DLC, if you don't have the DLC, try doing, um, do, do a, a Fue Coco. Do egg hatches for Fue Coco. If you have the DLC, do Froki. Mm. It is, if it's easier, you could just call me wild. Lol. Okay, I'll call, I'll call you wild. I was gonna call you craft, but I'll call you wild. Uh, Dynamo, you should hunt for family of th of three. Mash a hold. Oh, I can't pronounce Pokemon names on my life, man. If you put me gun points and you tell me to pronounce Pokemon's name, I I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> uh, I've already had one of those. I had. Okay, so you have Froki. That means. Um. A shiny family trio anyone else helped hyped for legends az i'm extremely hyped for it, eddie i cannot wait if i'm being honest they, i'm i'm more excited for that than if they were to release a black white remake or a gen 2 remake i'd rather legends az 
Uh, I'm a diehard Gen 6 fan. <laughs> so yeah. Wild is also super excited. Uh, I'm not doing that. Can you give me a different shiny? Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to do Masuda random encounter? Um, do you want to do soft reset? What are you looking for? Shiny Gastrodon? Uh, that would be something good. Still have no idea how to pronounce your name. Yeagerice hashtag one. Yeagerice number one. I'm just gonna call you Yay. You're you're Kanye West now. <laughs> now I'm gonna call you Yay because the first three letters is Y E A. So I'm gonna call you Yay because I, I have no idea how to pronounce your username. <laughs> uh. Mm -mm. Uh. How about shiny? Mariana or however you spell it uh i take that as well a w okay i'm calling you yay from now on then you're uh, you're kanye west now <laughs> oh yeah uh yeah me too legends Arceus was also my favorite pokemon game yet it wasn't my favorite pokemon game but it was my favorite pokemon game on switch I loved Legends Arceus. If I could get the shiny Quaxly, then I could play Legends Arceus in my stream tomorrow. So that's that's the goal is to get shiny Quaxly. But uh, yeah. Gavin said, I went into a cave once in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And it was in the same run as the shiny makes. And it was full, fully odds in game and i found shiny geo dude nice man not that good but it could be worse shiny geo dude i actually really like the line for shiny geo dude um i like no i actually like the kanto geo dudes better than the alolan ones i can't lie but yeah geo dude lineup is actually a really good uh uh shiny trio <laughs> i'm kanye without the hot takes <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, you're you're the non-controversial yay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh I really go for games with story. And every single time Pokemon really advances their story. So I'm a major fan of Pokemon Scarlet and character development is is insane in the games. Yes, that that's what I'm a fan of. I, I like the I like the Legends games because it shows a lot of lore and all that. It's like they're giving you missing pieces to the puzzle, you know? So, yeah. Especially with Legend Z, that's what we're going to get. Because, we, bro, we had so much missing pieces to the puzzle with the Kalos storyline, man. There's so much stuff in Kalos that they left out. So, we're we're going to see it all in Legend Z, hopefully. Hopefully, that that's, that's when we're going to see it. Uh... Mankey not makes oh, okay. I know I I know I do the shiny froki. No, I do the shiny froki. Somebody else told me to do something, so I didn't. Oh, okay, okay. So you're hunting froki. Fair enough. Thanks. In Scarlet and Violet, I found two shinies. What were the shinies? Let me know. Uh, just yesterday, found like five shiny Amoongus. Shiny Amoongus is actually really cool. I like how it turns purple. It looks like a, it goes from a Pokeball to a Master Ball. It looks really cool. <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's true. Not yesterday, but in the event. Nice. <laughs> uh, Shiny Magneton. And Shiny... Rev room shiny rev room is so nice man i love how he turns golden man i love how nice he turns uh might as well turn on my switch for the first time wait no why did i say first time bro that's what that's where the dyslexia comes in and finish i saw first time <laughs> might as well turn on my switch and finish my shiny evolution evolution hunt while i chill in the stream 
I just need Espeon. I love shiny Espeon. A lot of people hate Espeon. I love Espeon personally. Uh, two yellow shinies. Yup. I, I love golden shinies. I think my favorite shiny Pokemon are golden shinies, purple shinies, black shinies. Brother, I, I love, uh, I love those types, man. Those are my favorite. Espeon is a good shiny. Yeah, a lot of people hate on Espeon. I love Espeon. Me personally, I can't lie. I think Umbreon is, is a little bit overrated. All that changes the circles. It is a nice shiny, don't get me wrong, but all that changes the circles. I got a shiny Bidoof on Pearl Remakes. Nice. I have a shiny, no, not shiny. I have a lucky 100% Bidoof in Pokemon Go. <laughs> And on that same day, I got shiny Arceus in Brilliant Diamond. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, Espeon is a good shiny. Really love Espeon. People love people love Umbreon shiny too much. Yes, I will say that. Umbreon, it is a nice shiny. Don't get me wrong. Umbreon is a nice shiny. But it is... Bro, it's, it's overrated. I can't lie. It's overrated. All that changes is the circles. It go it goes from from yellow to blue. That's it. Uh, I also got shiny Varum, but didn't evolve it because it's speedy. Nice man. Uh, Umbreon shiny is overrated, but it it doesn't stop me from losing my head for one. Oh yeah, even me. I I still love it. I still love that shiny. It's not the best. I w it's not the best evolution. Me personally, I think the best shiny evolution is probably Vaporeon. Vaporeon or Espeon. I even I like Sylveon a lot too. I think the worst one is Umbreon. <laughs> he barely changes color. They should have swapped the black for white. Yeah, that would have been cool. That would have been really cool. I'm a huge Jolteon fan. Yeah, I love shiny Jolteon as well. But when it comes to green evolutions, I prefer Espeon. But Jolteon is also a really, really cool one. Not Umbreon is majestic. Bro, Umbreon is a, is a good shiny. Don't get me wrong. It's a really, really good shiny. I just think it's heavily overrated. And it's not the best evolution shiny. But, but it is really, really good. The worst shiny is Leafeon. Oh, yeah. I, f I forgot about Leafeon. Even Glaceon is such a bad shiny. Leafeon, Glaceon, and Flareon all have bad shinies. Leafeon, they could have cooked, too. They could have cooked, bro. If they, they would have just made him an autumn color. Like, bro. He's literally a leaf. If they would have just made him a reddish yellow, bro, it would have been amazing. <laughs> like an orange red. <laughs> the simplicity. Uh, it looks good, but a bit overrated. Yeah, my favorite is Vaporeon. Yeah, even me. Leafeon and uh, Glaceon shinies left the chat. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they should have. <laughs> what? Uh, what do I find? Wait, what do I find, Froakie? Huh? I have no idea what you mean by that. Mm -mm. It really depends where the shiny is stored in the games. 3D games really washed up a lot of the shiny. Yeah, I do agree. The 3D games kind of changed the colors. I think the best, best shiny sprites are like Gen 5. Gen f Gen three four five has like the best shiny sprites in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I straight up have all the shinies, but Espeon, <laughs> only because I've dreaded the fact that it only spawns during the day. Yeah, 
I hate day and night spawns. I mean, you could always just get a shiny EV and then evolve it. That would be a much easier way, unless you're trying to wild encounter all of them. I mean, all you're missing is Espeon, so. Gen 4 and 5 did really good job. Yeah, I really love Gen 4. I've never played a Gen 5 game, but I really love Gen 4. Uh, chat, I don't want to walk out on you. I'm not in extreme. But I'm gonna go make a sandwich and a coffee. <laughs> because actually, you know, I, I'm I'm gonna wait for my sandwich to end, just so I don't miss any eggs. So yeah, the only shiny I hate is Kai Ogre, bro. I love shiny Kai Ogre. I love it, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna recline, relax. <laughs> Why look so dumb like this? <laughs> oh my god. Do you have to do we're here? We're not holding you hostage. Well, right now, what's holding me hostage is actually my uh, egg power two shiny sandwich. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have 13 minutes left on that. And then when that's done, I'm going to make a sandwich, get coffee and come back. It'll literally take me five minutes. I have a coffee maker right here and, and I'm going to make a Nutella sandwich with banana. I'm going to toast that. <laughs> you look sleepy, bro. I'm wide awake. It's only it's only 346 p.m. where I'm at. I'm wide awake, bro. So <laughs> I'm just tired of hunting Quaxley. That that's that's where where I'm tired. I'm sorry if you guys see my armpit hair. <laughs> E and it's 2045 in Ireland. Jesus. That's 8:45 p.m. Damn, man. Yeah, that's what I did for majority of the evolutions, my Leafeon and Umbreon. Wait. Yeah, you wild encountered them. Okay. Panini. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go, but I'll be back in an hour if you're still alive. I'll see you in an hour, Katie. Unless I get Shawnee Quaxley early. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, Do what you... Oh, I already read that. <laughs> I might have to go soon because I might have to go to bed. It's all good, Gavin. Again, not holding on you guys hostage. If you guys gotta go, do what you gotta do, man. Uh... 1547 here up in New England. Damn. That's uh 1547. That's that's 2. That's no, that's 3 p.m. We have the the same time zone? Canada, Montreal, Canada. I'm on the east coast of Canada and New England have the same time zone. Isn't New England in the UK? Or am, or am I being dumb right now? Oh my god. I really hate shiny tentacle because I missed one when I was in psycho mode and Oh my god, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like, it's a cool feature where you could run around with your Pokemon, but, like, if you find a shiny, you're screwed. Oh my god. Uh, 9.47 p.m. where I'm at. Damn, that's 21.47. Shiny luck over here. Thanks for the shiny luck. Hopefully, it works. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> I'll stay till I have to go. Uh, again, Gavin, not holding you hostage. But yeah. <laughs> uh, we do. Damn, I didn't know we had the same time zone. Okay. Do you want to do a seven star raid with me? Uh, right now I'm focused on the egg hatches. But, um,. Yeah, maybe someone else in chat will do for you because I'm I really want to focus on the egg hatches right now. I I'm fed up with Quaxley and I want to get this thing done. 
Nine minutes left on my egg sandwich. <clears throat> no, it's a state. New England is a state. Okay, I did not know that. Uh, it's like New York. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, in Vermont. Or like Vermont. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Never mind. I'm staying, but I'm eating Lucky Charms. It's all good, Katie. <laughs> oh, not New York. I know you're not. Uh... Yeah, New England is in the US. It's basically like Northern 13. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. For some reason, I thought it was in the UK. Because <laughs> I, I saw England. I'm like, oh, UK time. What? We have the same time zone? That sounds like Fruity Pebbles greater than Lucky Charms. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Lucky Charms has that mushrooms. Fruity Pebbles is greater than Rice Krispies. I'll say that fruity pe fruity pebbles is greater than rice krispies. <laughs> I get that all the time, lol. <laughs> Normally I'm good with geography, man. Okay, I have to go, but I love your content. And still, thanks for mod. Bye. I'll see you soon, Gavin. I'll see you in the next stream. If you don't come back here. If I'm still live. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you soon, Gavin. Uh, the only Switch Pokemon games where I didn't have a shiny is BDSP. Uh, I actually, I have a shiny in... Actually, the only Pokemon Switch game I don't have a shiny in is... Uh, Let's go. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Am I an OG? I consider you an OG. You're not technically an OG, but I consider you one. But yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only Pokemon game on Switch I don't have a shiny in is Let's Go. In Sword Shield, I have. What do I have? I have Solgaleo. I have Ho-Oh. I have uh, Slowbro, Sandaconda, Sandslash. Um, I think one more. Should have one more. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I have one more. It's not a legendary though. In Scarlet Violet, I have every single starter Pokemon besides Quaxley. I have every pseudo legendary. And then I have a bunch of like just random ones that I found. Uh, Legends Arceus, I have like three PC boxes full of shinies. <laughs> so, and it's only going to get bigger when I do my 24 hour hunt next week. If I get the shiny. I could start tomorrow if I get the shiny. The shiny Quaxley. We need that Donald Duck. I know, man. We really need that Donald Duck. Uh, I'm trying to shiny hunt when my brother reset my game. That's actual pain, man. That is pain. Uh, then in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, the only shiny I have in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl that I got in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, because I transferred a shiny Porygon from Pokemon Go over to uh bdsp to register it in my decks and i transferred my first ever shiny pokemon which was a shiny relicanth uh from omega ruby off sapphire over the bdsp but the first ever shiny i got in bdsp actually in bdsp like not transferred over from another game was a shiny arceus on 955 encounters I had 255 shinies on Arceus. Jesus Christ. I have three PC boxes full, which is 90 shinies. <laughs> now that Crispy reached 1K, 
He has to do a 24 hour stream with Psyduck costume. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> if he does that, I'll be able to tune in because it's not, he's, he won't be live at like 5 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be looking forward to that and that I'll, I'll tune in. Four minutes left on the sandwich. Uh, I wasn't really a shiny hunter until Arceus. I didn't have, I think, like 50 shinies in Scarlet now, which isn't much, by the way. 50 shinies is like... Once you reach, like, yeah, around 50 shinies, 30, 50 shinies, that's when you start getting to the point where you're doing it often, you know? Like, obviously, if you have, like, 10 shinies and under, then you're a beginner. You probably just found those shinies randomly and didn't try. Or maybe one or two of them was, was like, you actually tried to get that shiny. But once you have, like, 50 and all that, then you're, you're, like, you're trying. You're doing it all and all that stuff. So, yeah. Look at my shiny ditto. Right next to me. <laughs> Oh my god. Ask him. I'm being serious. What do I ask him? Uh, I think we deserve way more crispy. <laughs> you guys could go watch his live streams. He does Dynamax Adventures. They're pretty fun. He comes into my streams a few times. I come into his. We both support each other, you know. Uh, all of mine were random encounters. All of my Legends Arceus stuff. None of them was like properly. Oh, I want this Pokemon shiny. I'm going to always do this Pokemon's mass mass outbreak. No, I just I go in and out from the main town to one of the zones. If there's a mass, mass, and mass outbreak, I do it, and then I just go to every outbreak. That's all I do. And if I get a shiny, I get a shiny. If I don't, I don't. I move on to the next. That's what I do in Legends Arceus. And that's probably what I'm going to do for my 24 hour shiny hunt. But I'm going to have a hit list there. I'm going to have a hit list in that game. Uh, how many? Guess how many shinies I have with duplicates included? You've been a hunter from the beginning. I'm going to say. I'm going to say you have. Maybe 2000 shiny Pokemon. I'm going to say 2000 shiny Pokemon. That that's that's my guess. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. He's going to do a 24 hour stream with Psyduck costume. Only thing left is to buy the costume. Yeah, I know. Why, why would I ask him that if he already said you're going to do it? <laughs> uh, I've also been trying to find my favorite shiny starters since Scarlet, but I've had no outbreak luck. Uh, you have to day switch. Just change the date on your switch over and over again until you get the outbreak you want. And if you're looking for a specific Pokemon, go to the area that that Pokemon spawns in and you'll have a higher chance of finding the outbreak for it. So yeah, that's what you got to do. Uh, 40 seconds left on my sandwich, by the way. So yeah. Sus Among Us for what? <laughs> I'm starving. You guys don't know how badly I'm starving. <laughs> In 30 seconds, when this sandwich ends, I'm going to make a Nutella sandwich with banana. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. But thank you for the advice. No problem, man. Thanks for the tip, Eddie said. For some reason, all of Eddie's chats are getting rejected. He's just saying normal stuff. <laughs> I think Katie is the imposter. My sandwich just ended. Uh, 
You were very close. 2,139 shinies across all my games, including duplicates and rare events. Only shinies. Damn, man. Where do you keep all that in Pokemon Home? Do you just have it like... Pokemon Home PC boxes full of shinies. <laughs> I usually keep my shinies in whatever game I got them in. I never transfer them over. Unless it was like my first ever shiny. Because uh, that one I wanted to keep. And I want to keep bringing that up into all the new games. But Relicanth is not in every Pokemon game. Okay, so <laughs> we're at 420. This would be 450. Uh, four. Wait, 450. Then it would be 482. After we, oh my god! After we hatch all these eggs, these leftover eggs. That's 482 Quaxley hatched. This has to be the one, man. Unless I'm breaking all... It, it, bro, if I don't get it at, on this one, I'm guaranteed to break odds. <laughs> that, that's what it is. I know it. If I end up having to make another sandwich and getting two, three PC boxes, then I'm guaranteed to, to break odds. So if I don't get shiny Quaxi within this sandwich, all the eggs that I got on this sandwich, then I break odds. I officially broke odds. And it will also be my first ever shiny hunt breaking odds on. So yeah. Katie did a self report. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to go make a sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to go make a Nutella sandwich with banana. I chat. I will be back in like less than five minutes. I will be back.
I'm back. I am back. Oh yeah. I'm starving, man. I'm starving. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Welcome back. <laughs> I have to go for dinner. You can go wild, it's all good. We got bombed. Yeah, I I, I was peeing and I heard my brother walk in my room. <laughs> so I, I didn't even see it happen and I know what happened. <laughs> Bro, I should be a chef. Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't take much effort to make. <laughs> I got a Coke. 
popular. Your brother said hi, yeah, I know. Well, I don't think he said anything. Cause I didn't hear him say anything and my mic was muted that whole time so even if he did say something then you heard it <laughs> I saw Katie in electrical let me know if, if for my second channel because I opened up a second channel and I've never uploaded on it. Let me know if you guys want to do a fans among us. I love among us. I have it. I love the game. Let me know if you guys want to do a fans among us. I saw yellow kill on cabs. I was just doing my task. I saw you in electrical. I plead the fifth. <laughs> oh my god. Next egg. I love Nutella and banana. Yes, Katie. But the cams were not on, so you didn't see <laughs> kill, Katie. <laughs> oh my god. So you did the kill. <laughs> I used to play Minecraft Bed Roars and I paid for MVP Plus and I was at 243 stars. Uh, I used to play Minecraft. I've never played Bed Roars, but I used to be, um, I used to play Skyblock servers, parkour servers and Skyblock servers. And then at one point I downloaded Pixelmon and then I stopped playing. <laughs> Why are you voting me, bro? Who who killed Shiny Quaxley? Hey, Wild's back. What's up, man? Did I put the quacks in? Yeah. <laughs> My chat right now is an Among Us lobby to try to figure out who killed Quaxley. Shiny Quaxley. <laughs> I've been live for three and a half hours. I've hatched 
almost four no almost 200 eggs today still no shiny but i'm not red bro red isn't my favorite color every time i play among us i'm always either lime or brown every time Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, one day. One day we gotta do an Among Us stream. <laughs> we, you guys all have to join my Discord. We have to be on a call together. We mute while we're playing and we unmute for voting. We we have to we have to <laughs> I'm down for that among us streams I would do it on my second channel But I'm down for that <laughs> Hell me oh i'd be down for that that would be sick though that would actually be really sick I would do it on my second channel <laughs> I'm not, I'm not in the discord. However, you could join bro. I could send the link in chat. I'll do that right now. Discord just takes forever to open for some reason. Cause it always has to check for updates before opening the damn app. <laughs> I just sent the link to my discord server in chat so to those of you who want to join the discord you could join And how am I supposed to speak with you all? Y you can type. Uh, we'll let you type because I know your situation. Yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty pog. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all slide in. Nice, man. Let's go. We got a new member to the Discord. <laughs> Eddie, if you want to join too, if you have Discord, you can. Same for you, yay. Oh yeah, man. Banana and Nutella is like the best, the best mix. I swear. I might download Discord then. <laughs> One day I'll definitely do that. An Among Us stream. some good strawberry banana making me jump <laughs> i know that's your favorite i know you love nutella strawberry and nutella banana i know that's your favorite jew and i know your favorite drink <laughs> is mine 
<laughs> so yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. He killed that sandwich, bro. It tasted so good. <laughs> And guess, guess what, Ju? Julia, guess what? Tomorrow I have driving. Guess what I'm gonna go eat after my driving? Take a guess, Ju. Take a guess. Well, what do you think I'm gonna go eat after my driving? It's one of your favorites. One of your favorites. It's not your favorite, but it's one of your favorites. No, not Subway. Not Subway. <laughs> I'm gonna go have some A and W. <laughs> I've been craving an A and W burger. No, I'm not having pizza pizza. I'm gonna go have A and W. Don't know Quaxley. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> oh my god. The sandwich sounds delicious, especially since I'm allergic to strawberries. Bro, strawberries are amazing, man. About to. Uh, about my message getting deleted, I did it that myself because. Oh, okay, okay. Because it kept saying message rejected. I'm like. I know I have um, the setting on where YouTube can delete messages themselves too, but I didn't know it was that harsh. I'm like, what? <clears throat> Grilled Quaxley because you didn't get a shiny. Oh my. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, Wild's in the Discord server now. Let's go. And so is Yay. Let's go. Getting new members to the Discord. You see all those channels. We have shiny show offs. If you guys want to post whatever shinies you get, uh, we have a lot of stuff to Pokemon news slash leaks. Uh, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, <laughs> but we have a lot of servers. So, yeah. You can do whatever you want in those servers. I think the only servers you're you're not allowed to type in is uh, YouTube news and uh, rules. I think. And uh, maybe updates. I don't know. No wait, YouTube news slash updates or something. I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, gotta go uh, drive somewhere. I'll check out the server afterwards. All right, Wild. I'll see you in the next stream. Lol, is there any channel art? No, but I could make a channel art server. I could make one. I don't see you soon, Wild. I'm really hoping one of these eggs is shiny. Cause like, bro, I hatched so much Quaxleys. It's not normal. The amount that I've done. <laughs> at some point, I I'm gonna get the shiny at some point. But like, come on. Hopefully it's here, we get this shiny. 
odds. I don't want to go over odds. I really don't want to go over odds, man. No shiny. No shiny. Hey, we're almost at 12.8 thousand subs. We're seven subs away from 12,800. We all hope one of them is. Bro, I ape. I made my calculations before if I have to make another egg power sandwich after I hatch all these eggs, then I break odds. <laughs> so I don't want to break odds for me to not break odds. That means one of these has to be the one or else I'm breaking odds. And obviously, I don't want that. Oh, the, this, this starter run, man. And you know what it is too? It's not like I could be like, oh, let's say I don't get Quaxly today and then I stream Quaxly again tomorrow. I can't be like, oh, I, I didn't get it today. So uh, I'm really close to odds. I could guarantee you I'm getting it tomorrow. Like, no, I can't do that anymore. After I break odds, it's like I just reset. I'm back at, f at zero out of 512. I just ran straight into a person. Music is a vibe. It's my playlist. Well, it's my stream playlist. It's not my actual playlist, but it's one of my playlists. Which starter did you pick in this game? I picked Foy Coco. Oh my God. Who would have known that shiny Arceus was easier to get than Quaxley? <laughs> Come on. It's not normal, man. It's really not normal. That looks like the one because of the lighting that really looked like it. Next PC box. Seven of luck. Do we do it again? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time I'm gonna make it the red star. Let's see. This egg right here is the prediction. So yeah, in seven eggs. Second time's the charm, let's see. <laughs> oh god. Have to go now, sadly. Good luck to you. Thank you, Eddie. I'll see you in another stream, man.
It's this one, the prediction, so we're still not there yet. Always with the damn Persians, man. Come on. They always just have to come bust my balls, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, the prediction egg is now in my party. Spoke go cats busting nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. The prediction egg is in my party. Let's see. there man what I hit oh my god Meowth was hiding in the bush. Oh, it's a ditto. Ah, but one day, one day, I'm gonna run into an accidental shiny ditto. <laughs> it's gonna happen one day. Now, right, let's see. Not shiny. It's right here. In three more eggs is the prediction egg. We're currently six subscribers away from 12,800. Let's go. What just hit me? A Persian. Sick. Prayer. Okay, despawned. <laughs> Bro, how? Oh, I didn't even have to move. All right, uh, there's so much Pokemon around me. I'm gonna encounter everything. Oh my god. It, it's the next egg. The next egg is the prediction egg. 
Let's see. <clears throat> Will it be shiny? Will it be shiny? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> it's not shiny. Oh my god, man. Bro! I'm going insane. <laughs> I'm going insane. The amount of eggs I've hatched is not normal. Oh my god, man. The amount of eggs I've hatched is not normal. <laughs> I'm genuinely going insane. We have almost... No, we have more than a full PC box left. Yeah, at least it's not 30,000 a hey. Oi. Oh my god. Seventh egg shiny. I'll do another count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I marked it. Hopefully I get that girlfriend look. I got nothing today. I mean, I did get a shiny Jigglypuff. <laughs> it's not what I wanted, but I still got something. Oh my god. All 
All right, the prediction egg is now my party. Enzo, welcome to the streams, man. Someone have Urshifu shiny. No, it's illegal. Huh? I don't even know what it was. Actually, yeah, it is shiny locked. <laughs> it is a shiny locked Pokemon, so. I'm eating supper right now. Nice. Uh, I don't have that shiny either. Well, you said earlier pasta, so I'm assuming it's pasta. The predict the prediction egg is in three eggs. Cheerio, mate. <laughs> Zaki and Shiny, I don't have. I never did uh, those events. Went out for a snack. Where is the Shiny Donald Duck? It never happened. <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> oh my god. Someone have Zach and Shiny? No, I don't have. I already read that. No, I didn't. Yeah, it was only an event at GameStop. I didn't participate. Also, Prediction Egg is the next one. And my girlfriend predicted it, so hopefully I get that girlfriend look. Let's hope. Let's hope. It's not. Anyone play Fortnite? Yeah, I play Fortnite. <laughs> bad luck incoming. Bro, I've been had I've been having bad luck since Sprigatito. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> what rank? I'm diamond three. Or diamond two. I don't know which diamond I am. I'm diamond something. I'm I'm the one closest to, to the next rank. I think that's three. I don't know. <laughs> I'm diamond something. <laughs> oh, feels so fucking good to shrink. <laughs> Elite 86 percent damn during OG season. I was champion <laughs> Don't have that girlfriend lock low <laughs> Oh my god Guess what I'm eating you said before that you were cooking pasta
I didn't grind OG season, bro. I played it non-stop because obviously it was OG and that's when I started playing. So I wanted to relive my childhood. I started playing Fortnite chapter one season two. OG OG. Patience is key, my brother. Hope it doesn't take you 10k. Eh? <laughs> if it does, man, I'm a, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, Jesus. Also, I think I've officially hit 200 hours. 195. And I've been streaming for four hours. What? What? That was shiny? What? <laughs> and a crit capture? What? That was the most random thing ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, not the shiny I was looking for. <laughs> but okay, that was so random. <laughs> so now, oh my God, I just realized. Since hunting Quaxley, since hunting Quaxley alone, I've, um, I've gotten two shiny Persian now, two shiny Drifloom, and a shiny Jigglypuff. One, two, three, four, five shinies while trying to hunt one. <laughs> it's not the one I wanted. You got some luck. Sure. Shiny number five. Yeah. That girlfriend luck is real, I guess. Yeah, I did get a shiny. It's not the one that I've been spending countless and countless hours trying to get, but it's it's a shiny. <laughs> oh my god, congrats though. Thanks, man. <laughs> you are going over odds with this one, getting all shinies you don't need. I know, man. <laughs> Bro, I got... Five full odds random shinies while hunting Quaxley. A Persian, a Drifloom, another Drifloom, a Jigglypuff, and another Persian. The Jigglypuff and the second Persian were today. And bro, the Drifloom was was weird. Both shiny Drifloom, when I got them, I got them back to back yesterday. I literally got back to back to shiny Drifloom. <laughs> like, bro, why not delete the save file? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Don't tell me that. Okay, I thought that was another shiny Jigglypuff. <laughs> I'm like, don't tell me I just got another one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it pisses me off though. I, I don't like. I don't care if I go over odds. It, it, it's just what I care about is. One, I've been playing Pokemon Scarlet Violet for way too long. Two, bro, out of all Pokemon to go over odds with. A Quaxley. <laughs> My least favorite starter Pokemon ever is the one I'm going to go over odds with. It's going to be my first over odds hunt. 
what color is the shiny the one that i just got shiny persian it's one of those really bad shinies that only change colors slightly <laughs> so so yeah only only his ears changed color they went pink that's it the color of the duck that i'm doing quaxly he is also a really really bad shiny where all that changes is the blue turns into light blue <laughs> Let's start an auction for a save file. Oh my god. <laughs> Not bro, my save file is worth more than that, bro. I have a shiny Mewtwo in this save file. It was traded to me, but I have a shiny Mewtwo in this save file. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I've been playing Scarlet Violet way too long, man. Way too long. I've been playing this game nonstop since uh since the pseudo legendary hunt that I did <laughs> for a stream and a video. And I started that in mid January. I did the pseudo legendary hunts mid January. I've been playing Pokemon Scarlet Violet grinding since mid January. <laughs> one dollar going once. We have one dollar in the chat going twice sold. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Three dollars going once. Oh my, bro, why? 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 I'm not even moving. $69. Big number. Oh my god. Going to I sold for $69 my account. <laughs> Got your save file, buddy. Sold to Katie before 1k for, <laughs> for the lovely number $69. <laughs> to fridge eating plush. Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, since mid-January, I've been playing Scarlet Violet non-stop. And I've been doing egg hatches since then because Bagon and Dreepy were two pseudos that were exclusive to Violet and I play Scarlet. So I had to egg hatch them. So ever since shiny hunting Bagon, I've been egg hatching non-stop. And it's so annoying. Bagon, Dreepy, Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxly is ongoing. I've been shiny hunting five Pokemon back to back to back to back to back to back <laughs> in egg hatches. Like, come on. Let's sell the Pokemon card collection next. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what's up, Wild? You're back, man. By the way, I was eating two hot dogs with Italian sausage. I'm being dead serious. Nice. <laughs> Uh, with relish, mayo, mustard, ketchup. That sounds pretty good, I can't lie. <laughs> Selling bid at 1k. 
No, nah, you want to know what I have that's worth a lot of money? I think the the thing that I own that I that if I sell I'll make the most money from is probably my Fortnite account. <laughs> I have like over seven thousand dollars worth of skins in Fortnite. <laughs> like it's bad. <laughs> oh my god. I don't actually have Renegade Raider. I don't have it. My rarest item in my locker. Uh, the season two victory umbrella. Sold to yay for 1k. <laughs> oh my god, I see the play button behind you. It's it's a 3D print. The play button is a 3D print. It's it's not real. <laughs> I really hit the drift room. Next egg. No shinies, man. No shinies. There's no way I actually hatched 200 eggs today without a single, a single shiny, man. You started the bid at 1k and since nobody bid. Oh my God, Alaska boy with the $20 again. Jesus Christ, man. I didn't even know he was back in chat. <laughs> Thank you, Alaska boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's go, man. Oh my God. Hopefully you give me that shiny luck. Hopefully you give me... Oh my God, again. There's no way. There is no way. Oh my God. There is no way, man. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. I just want Quaxley. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Okay, I saved, I saved, I saved. And if I damage him, I'm gonna kill him anyway. Yeah, shiny's a shiny, <laughs> but this is my second one <laughs> in the last 30 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Within the last three streams. No, with yeah, within the last three streams, I've gotten three shiny Persian. <laughs> like, bro, there's no way. Critical captured. Oh my god. <laughs> There's too much, too much Persian, man. Too much Persian. We have ten dollars for his chair. That's not worth it, bro. I got, I paid this chair three hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god, nineteen bucks. 
Another shiny Persian. Are you serious right now? <laughs> it's evolving. I stopped it. I didn't even know you can stop evolutions. I didn't even know you can do that. Oh, I just did. Bro. That's three shiny version. <laughs> three shiny version, bro. 31 bucks for my chair. I paid this thing $300. Oh my god, man. Thirty-two. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know where Alaska boy is, bro. He he sent me in total like fifty dollars and just isn't talking. <laughs> He donated another twenty dollars and just hasn't spoken. <laughs> oh my god, man. I need this shiny. I need a bad man. I need this shiny badly. <laughs> Spent money and dipped. Pretty much, bro. I didn't even know he came back. I didn't even know he showed up. He just showed up, spit out like 50 bucks and left. <laughs> like, what? Oh my god. 420 bucks for my chair. The hero no one asked for but always need <laughs> or but, but what we needed oh my god 4555 bucks for my chair going once <laughs> shiny no of course not <laughs> going once going twice Oh, six million six hundred sixty six thousand six hundred sixty six dollars for my chair. <laughs> oh, nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars bid on for my chair. <laughs> Zero dollars. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Going twice. At this point, it's sold. No one's typing again. At this point, it's sold. Four dollars. <laughs> but you have to be nine hundred ninety-nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. Sold to the lucky bidder wild at four dollars. I mean uh zero dollars. <laughs> Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Wildcraft got got the the only affordable price. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, bro, the cost of living crisis is up, man. Oh my god. Uh, 
Uh, one IRL pokey dollar. Power systems can't process money of that amount. So zero dollars is the most affordable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bro, you can't sell me, bro. That's human trafficking. <laughs> Get arrested for that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I have to check the Persians. Because I'm on a shiny streak with Persian now. And I don't want to be. I want to get the, the Quaxley. All I care about is all I want. He comes with the setup, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Does a quarter and a chewed piece of gum work? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bro, how have I not gotten this thing yet? Like, genuinely. How have I not gone? I'll ask the devil real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, man. Still nothing, bro. Still nothing is wild. It's my last egg. Like, bro. If I make another sandwich, I'm guaranteed to go over odds, by the way. So yeah, the devil is not on the pedestal oh my god for no donald duck how many eggs hatched once uh the the last eggs i have here is hatched i'm gonna do a, a count again but i should be at like a uh, like 480 something <laughs> so yeah over odds is coming my way uh, I mean, there's still a chance that I could go under odds. If I am at 480, I still have another, you know, 32 eggs left <laughs> where I could be under odds. So, who knows? Oh, yeah. At this point, it's very unlikely that I'm going to be under odds, so... Strawberry, yeah, because I'm totally not allergic. <laughs> oh my god. Another Persian, not Chinese. Thankfully. Let me be honest, thankfully. <laughs> Final two eggs. Then I'm gonna do a big count and then call it quits there. I've been streaming for four hours and 17 minutes, and I got very, very unlucky. 
I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I want to call myself lucky or unlucky today. Because <laughs> I didn't get the Quaxley. But I did get a Jigglypuff and two Persians. So. I did get three Shinies today. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to call myself lucky or unlucky, but. Uh, yo, what the hell are you guys saying? <laughs> Shiny Quaxley? Of course not. Oh my god. All right, so last egg, egg. Can I say egg or egg? Like, come on. <laughs> last egg of today's stream. Will it shine or will it disappoint? Let's see. And it disappointed me. Oh no, I'm going over odds. <laughs> well, that means tomorrow I'm over odds. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and now you need to keep streaming. Bro, wait. I've been live for 4 hours 20 minutes. <laughs> Doing the same egg hatches over and over and over and over again. I'm gonna be live again tomorrow for the same amount of time probably so <gasps> tomorrow i'm not working so yeah i'll be live for the, like the same time let's do a big count though let's do one big count See. But you weren't going to stop before you got it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, but like, bro, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. My, I'm getting massive back pain. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see. Let's see how much we're at. <laughs> Where is the shiny hunting spirit? It's there, man. The shiny hunting spirit is there. Trust. <laughs> Trust. I did almost 300 egg hatches today alone. All right. Yeah, you ever reached 10K yet? No, I have not. <laughs> I have not. If I have 10,000 eggs hatched for Quaxley and still no shiny, there's a genuine problem because I'm doing Masuda method with a shiny charm. <laughs> so <laughs> there'll be a genuine problem. By the way, he made 7k views yesterday and he made 4.9k views the day before. Are you talking about Crispy? Oh yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Okay. Are you guys ready? For the big count. The count that'll tell me that I'm over odds. Are you guys ready? 30. 60. 90. 120. 150. 180. 210. 240. 270. 300, 330, 
360, 390, 410, 440, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 456 eggs for Quaxley so far. Okay, so I overcounted then. I overcounted before. If I'm at 450, then uh, I could still do one full sandwich without breaking odds. Two, actually. I could do two full sandwiches without breaking odds. That's what I could do. Stop at 512. 512 is my odds. I'm going to continue, obviously, before ending stream. Nah, bro. I'm, I'm, I want to, trust me, but I'm too tired, man. My my back is killing me. I need to to, to touch grass, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, my God. But, yeah, uh, 450 eggs so far. I thought it was at 480. I thought it was going to be at 480. Unless I miscounted. Wait, unless I did miscount. Let me try again. Because I remember counting 480 before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15. 15 times 30 is 450. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. 466. Okay. 466 so far. I'm at, I'm at 466 eggs hatched. See, I could do another sandwich and a half <laughs> worth of eggs before reaching odds. So hopefully there's still hope. There's still hope. There's still hope for this shiny. Uh, I actually got Fue Coco in a longer time. I got shiny Fue Coco at 487. So, so far, Fue Coco is still the longer hunt. Do it, do it, do it, do it, bro. I'm, I'm too tired. Because you know what it is? If I do another sandwich... It's going to take 30, another 30 minutes of just me waiting. And then when I start hatching, it's going to be another 45 minutes of hatching everything. So, yeah, <laughs> um, um, I've been live for four and a half hours, which for me is is usually a lot. Because normally I'm only live for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. But yeah, tomorrow, same, same thing. We're shiny hunting Quaxley, same time, same length, unless I get the shiny early. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good stream. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. Thank you for Alaska Boy. I don't know if he's watching, but thank you to Alaska Boy for donating. Uh, you really did not have to do that. But thank you, Alaska Boy, for donating. Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here today. But yeah, I'll be live tomorrow again. If you want to see the live, turn on post notifications. All that type of stuff. You y'all know what to do. You guys know what to do. You've watched YouTube enough to know what to do. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys uh, in tomorrow's stream. Bye, guys.